would have purchased this was I not tarred a thief. <gasps> Thunderstorm noises. Were the game not infected with a prior consumer verification malware, I would have gladly forwarded funds to experience this title. However, being one of the extreme minority who still burn a petering menorah of self-respect, said digital ebolades precluded my investment into Abzu. Too bad, for the game looks nice, and it is now cured of its pernicious affliction. You sound like an absolute muppet. Okay, shoot me if I'm wrong in the comments. But this guy is upset because he acquired the game for free, but when actually trying to play play it, he still had to pay to actually access the game. So like he He's upset that he has to pay. He's being accused of not getting the game legitimately and has to pay for it. Is that, is that right? Is, is that what he's upset about? I don't watch TV. My good taste in music brought me here. I'm 28 and have been listening to this song for at least 15 years. It amazes me how, with the internet, so many individuals in my generation find great music like this through TV shows. Ah. Uh... Please don't include me in that group. I find music I like by looking for it. Oh, this is gonna be good. The reason I want to date you is due to having seen you for a while. Not only have I seen you, I witnessed your personality traits and social profile evolve through chemical and elemental processes while adapting to my living conditions. <gasps> I conspire reticulated inspiration from your vibrational train of thoughtful commands. I see houseflies in a quarantined area? No? Arena, while you are the originalist individual that's watching from the outside, and I turned my life inside out to expose my freezing pain coiled in a minute of wanderer. <gasps> Just to resolve the love at first sight to misuse activity, then I force coupe devils with brain dead rims onto words, stupid wheels. You are a bodied artifact of a human as a physicali. <laughs> What are you saying? What are you saying? As a physically living puzzle piece of myself, I relate towards 99.9% .9 of the time you are the double aspect of love's color wheel turned towards vivid air. Sad happy like determinized clockwork ticking as a firework blown out of proportion to cut to the chase for a lack of better word of your my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Just stop, Golb. Just stop. Hold off on hassling the Adventure Time gang for a second. Let Marceline and Princess Bubblegum make out for a quick bit. Just, I want you to know... You had me at Housewives in a quarantine arena. Do you know the reason for your downvotes? Reflect on your Reddit experience and then answer. Well, to be honest, I don't really care. Most of the population are idiots, so not thinking alike and not be like the mass is more appealing to me. Stupid comparison. But don't make it. But Plato was no. also misunderstood in his time. Everyone hated him. When you think outside the box, people don't understand you. So I couldn't care less about people downvoting me because I said I closed my Facebook about an article talking about the conservative case for teen pregnancy. Where the success sequence is parsimonious, elevating lust and the pursuit of wealth above other natural goods, pregnancy is liberal in the old-fashioned sense of the word, indeed by the standards of our professional class, even munificent. I'm making a list of academic papers written in the most impenetrable jargon. If you're an academic and have some humorous recommendations, I'd love to hear from you. Oh, Matt has gotten full reactionary. Is this because you're smarting from your undergraduate level understanding of Marcus? Shall we retry Dorida in absentia? Or maybe some disciplines are hard and have a technical language that is refractory to understanding for the layperson. Wow, screw the papers, dude. Just react to tweets, man. That you, it's like a fishing rod. I hate being smart because the smarter you are, the more you understand reality. And my brain understands reality to a degree where it keeps wanting to self-destruct. Okay, uh, don't want to bag on this guy. I think they genuinely need help. <laughs> I'm kind of concerned. Meanwhile, and well, that sucks. If only it had a screen protector. A screen protector would not have helped in this scenario. Well, I could certainly do the calculations to prove it. Because I finished top in all my physics and math-related classes. I feel it is enough to just say that the forces involved are simply great enough to assume the conclusion. I would call this common sense, but I understand not everybody is blessed with an extraordinary brain like I. Okay, I swear to God, these people are just doing it on purpose now that no one asked for you to to point out how smart you are. No. Oh, buddy, uh, I think you're getting downvotes because you didn't write slash sarcasm or something like that. Uh, yeah, Reddit is full of simpletons who think they're an AI. 
They're just intimidated by my genius level IQ, 160. I don't blame them. It's human nature to fear what is beyond comprehension. That's how religions get started. Okay, I'm just gonna assume this guy's doubled down on the joke. He's, he's like, oh, I've dug the hole now, I might as well get to China. Ignorance and idiocy is the greatest threat to our society. The cause is politics, religion, and lack of understanding of the mind. The cure is science, art, and philosopher. Okay, I don't know if I need glasses, but the so-called cure isn't really clear. Don't think that's the clearest cure. It's maybe the fuzziest cure. Okay, I've said this before and I'll say it again. If you have a little yapping dog you put outside to ruin everyone's night, you need to be punched in the frickin' nose and your dog needs to be smacked, then both of you locked in the same room for a month. Put your little tappers in the house. Be respectful of your neighbors before I kick your butt. Seriously. Um, pardon me, but before you rant on social media about your own personal issue with a knee bore, which I might add, you seem afraid to confront face to face, says the keyboard warrior bragging about their intelligence over the internet. You should learn proper grammar and how to spell. Mm, it makes your ignorance and poor education so obvious. You should be embarrassed for not only your ignorance and hostility, but also because you're really a coward with an ax to grind. Grow up and grow a pair. Seriously, no, I did not get triggered. You guys are such sheeple, you can't even use other words because your vernacular is tied to internet culture. Words like triggered, it's tough sometimes being the intellectual that I am. It can get pretty lonely when nobody else of equal intelligence is around to relate to you. Your also says the guy who can't stop saying sheeple. You don't understand jokes. I understand jokes. I'm also highly literate with superior vocabulary. My dick. What? Shun oh. isn't influenced by memes and I can't be trained to dumb myself down. So what's your excuse? Wow, you're so smart. Smart. What do you have a degree in? YouTube video spelling errors and phonics? I'm so jealous. Stupid people. They're everywhere. Thank God that I am not one of them. But it does get a little lonely sometimes. Stupid, stupid people. people are so stupid that they don't even no. know that they are stupid. Beard. They think that they are actually morally superior. They think that they have the best advice and they get so emotional. And they are hypocrites. If I didn't hate them so much, I would feel sorry for them. But they aren't worth my pity. What's sad is that all the stupid people have the power. Because that is what they seek. Power! They need to elevate themselves with their ignorant, pretentious righteousness while putting down others. That's how they get the power that they have. And they benefit from being in universal-sized, hive-minded mobs. Sounds like you're making excuses for why you're not successful. So they are always the majority. In other words, stupid can't be defeated. All you can do is go Rick Sanchez on them and laugh as they're Bug intestines get splattered all over the place. Let me shove this portal gun up your rear and end you dumb fricks. Oh no, my mistake, it's erotica. You stupid people are a bunch of CGNs. Ah yes, cool groovy normies, yay. The orange color change alone makes it look so much more earthy and comfortable to relax in. Well done. Oh thanks, I thought it was a nice color to contrast and it came out great. Does it make it feel like actual sunlight? Oh, if you need to ask that, you might as well explain Expose yourself to your own pee as your source of a vitamin D. Ha! Huh. Jeez, I'm an expert on the subject of the supertatives that allow you to instigate the inclination of welfare ignoranti in relation to a 180, a lot of pee, a lot of pee pee monitor. And this is the stupidity oh encounter, freaking microcosm of humanity's dumpster. It was actually in the 1890s when Texas had a storm of this magnitude. I was without power for three days and we survived. Maybe you should shut the frick up if you can't engage in a civil conversation. Yes, because you surviving for three days reflects the entire experience of Texas residents during the storm and power outage. You definitely took the short bus to school. Sure, go with that. But at the worst, most of us who lost power had it back in three days. There were a few outliers, but not many. 
Google outliers, if you don't know what that means. By the way, no short buses. Want to compare IQ? You really don't. Fun fact, some people have an internal narrative and some don't. As in, some people's thoughts are like sentences they hear, and some people just have abstract, non-verbal thoughts and have to consciously verbalize them. And most people aren't aware of the other type of person. Okay, so what, some people actually think and others don't. <laughs> Big surprise. And no, I'm not going to be nice about it. For those who actually think, not internal monologue narration, Think. Just think about how you tie your shoes or some other remote manual task. Do you think, okay, this goes here and then through here and then over here? Or do you just picture how to do it in your head and do it? Would you consider the second one to be thinking? Because the people without an internal monologue go through their whole lives like this. Every decision, every action is done out of some nearly thoughtless automatism. And no, it doesn't mean they're not intelligent. In fact, they can be pretty good problem solvers when it comes to practical things. Likewise, having an internal narrative isn't proof of intelligence. But they're also not the kind of people who are capable of reasoning through abstract problems. They're the kind of people who fall for logical fallacies a lot and can barely understand why they're wrong in the first place. Ooh, see, you were going somewhere good at first, like it was a good valid point to make. But then you clearly made it all about you again. Just stop, stop doing that. I lie awake at night thinking about if the Big Bang created multiple universes. Ooh, big word. Then this would solve the antimatter problem without violating conservation of energy. One universe would have tons of antimatter while another has lots of regular matter. And it doesn't have to be limited to two. Many universes could have formed in the Big Bang, and all of them could have started out with different proportions of antimatter and regular matter. As long as the total amount of energy adds to zero. And it's, oh, for, sorry, forgot what I was saying. So yes, I get that exactly. I'm most productive between 12 to 4 a.m. Insomnia is not a superpower. Stop trying to make it one. You were well paid for a job like yours in our country. I get paid pretty well, yes, but I know I'm worth more than what I'm getting, but I'm not complaining because of the current situation. Yes, we are all working hard and don't care how much. It's just that we like it. Foolish, simple, settled, content fool. The value of man lies in the embodiment of value. You. Only in this way can we enrich ourselves and make ourselves more beautiful. What, where, where did this come from? I'm just talking about work, man. You can instamine stone in 1.17 with a stone hoe. K kinda. You got the right results in the wrong way. That comment is very ignorant. I cannot relate to your comment. If your IQ is under 145, mine's 170, while yours is most likely 75 to 90, please rephrase your comment to where higher cognitive individuals like myself can relate. Winky flirty face. What? I can relate, being smart. It's hard to explain to people how I know things to be true because of all the multiple steps of deductive reasoning in my brain that actually happened. I end up saying, well, it seems to be that this is the case, or I dig around for evidence that someone else has collected. I know it's not really being psychic, it's being observant and then cross referencing different observations to draw conclusions that because people are automatically suspicious of any of this happening. Or it's using it more as a weapon. If you'd let me finish, I was trying to say that it is not a single person knows the amount of discomfort whilst completing the human cellular manipulation of connective tissue through the cardiac membrane of the myofascia, one centimeter thick tissue that is cord in the vagus nerve and is the leading cause of coronary infarctions among the American population. Fact check me if you can. Dude, put the thesaurus away, man. Now playing and winning Wordle in four languages. How are you commoners doing? I still don't even know what Wordle is, so maybe just like take a pill, you know? I am smarter than a lot of people employed to advise the government and a hundred percent more more ethical. In this case, though, medical science fraternity, I don't presume to be more qualified than them. There are qualified non-government or corporate persons who do not agree. What are you talking about? There's a well-thought-out reply that not only shows intellect and grace, but also highlights the wonderful DBD community. Bravo, sir. I didn't think anyone could encapsulate all the worst things about the internet in one comment, but you did. Brevity is the soul of wit. Say the people with lack of vocabulary and intellect. Hmm. William Shakespeare has a lack of vocabulary and intellect? You sure this is the hill you want to die on? If the shoe fits. <laughs> what? I really am insanely intelligent. This is a fever dream. People are jealous of me because I really am special. Not many people are like me. That's what my therapists keep trying to tell me. Right. That's what they're trying to tell you. 
This could be debated on whether it's knowledge or intelligence, and that argument is based on if they had knowledge beforehand on how to use then and then. I, for one, know I'm not grammatically inclined, but do possess a more natural ability to process logic and science. Be cautious on how you judge people. P.S. This guy may be a little ri- Though. Weather. <laughs> Came tumbling down. Ouch. Ooh. I'm sorry, that's awesome. Gosh, I have to look up all these lame words on Urban Dictionary. Like this word at 18. Gosh, these words are so stupidly made up. Gen Z is so uncreative at their bullshit. No wonder why they're all depressed and don't know what the hell is going on in this world. Because they choose to be that way. Dude, all words are made up. Chill out. Just based off a quick review of your posts, I know you don't have much going on in that skull of yours. Please keep enjoying drag racing. And by the way, do you have any degrees by chance in, say, any STEM fields? Yep. I know you don't, bud. Keep talking about who is smarter than who. Oh my god, this guy is exhausting. Ah, at the end of this, you'll feel mighty good about yourself, like you really did accomplish something, but you really didn't. Oh, oh! Dune is not for the small-minded. It takes a genius to understand many of the concepts it harbors. It entails politics, cartels, religious manipulation, oppression, space travel, psychedelics, overwhelming mind power, and functional industrial genetic mutation. <laughs> it's a good look into the ru sorry, it's a good look onto the ruling class as well as the working class. The complexity in the nuances make the book amazing. However, that also makes translating it into film difficult if not impossible. Again, Dune is not for the shallow, small-minded, or in Patient. Did you make up like four different words in this sentence or this paragraph, I guess? Mana from heaven is a biblical concept and is different from mana. Excuse me, but gamer culture supersedes a fake religion where only like one of my classmates is actually a Christian. I'm an atheist because of my high IQ and a contelligence. There are more gamers today than there are Christians, so mana is the correct. Advanced vocabulary such as expressions, genuine, and realistic. Edit. Everyone, I understand that I sound like I think I have some advanced vocabulary here. I've been made well aware. The facial expressions that he puts on makes it much more realistic. Everything he does is so well expressed that it feels genuine. As in, it feels real. Yeah. Wow, that's advanced. I'm far more smarter than I'm given credit for. Never underestimate me at all. Single. Yeah, that tracks. I wouldn't say it's a marker of immaturity. There are more apt markers of lifespan development than someone's hobbies and interests. Celebrity culture is base interest. Chimps and gorillas are fascinated by social status. It's not strange that humans are too. Ugh. Why do people tweet their Wordle stuff? Does the game force you to promote it on social media for extra points or something? Some people mistakenly think it's an accomplishment to achieve the solution in a few answers, not realizing there's a strong element of luck based on how close the word you completely guess on turn one or two. I don't understand this game. You're looking too hard into it. Nah, I'm just very, very good at games in which you unscramble letters. My fiance and I realized as soon as his scores were near or sometimes better than mine, it had to involve a lot of luck. Very few people can beat me at games like Scrabble, Boggle, etc. I'd like to see you on Countdown. <laughs> Death Note Review, a unique storytelling with high IQ characters that do high IQ moves made for smart people. Dumb people will get a headache, probably. Cinephiles. Yeah, I, yeah, Death Note. It's only for the smart, smart people. New cat. Wow, that's a lovely kitty. I take it you're not familiar with that word. It comes from the Latin, I, I can't, I don't know what the word is. I'm not like all the other dimwits who have a knee-jerk zomgy, that's a cute kitty reaction. I see the cat, and my first thought is to comment on its appearance, but not in the way the ignorami, the ignorami, the wow. And then I realize this would be an excellent teaching opportunity. Thanks to me, you now know the meaning of an obscure word, and you can use it in your day-to-day -day life if you wish. No, just because it's an obscure word doesn't mean you're super smart. I'm sorry, it sounds dumb. My potential to be smarter than those my age? Yes. My fellow schoolmates now, like six years later, are either as smart as me or just plain stupid. One girl I know tried to pull the we were young and stupid line when I brought up that she told me to kill myself in the fifth grade. How much dumber can you get? Well, it appears as of now, a lot. My school is populated by narcissistic idiots. Men is the plural form of man. 
By putting a before the word, you made a statement that would apply to the singular use of the word. You're less intelligent, therefore you are inferior and your opinion doesn't matter. Jesus! Info, intellectual at heart. Feel free to add me if you consider yourself a gladiator of knowledge and wish to do battle. Do not waste my time if your intelligence equates to that of the common man. I do not care for the mundane drivel of everyday life. I find solitude only in fierce scientific or philosophical debate. Future politician, astrophysicist, Nobel Prize laureate, etc., etc. I'm capable of sculpting my own future, really. Damn, your future... all of those things, huh? Right. Well, I'm gonna come back in 20 years and see if you are present day any of those things. I'm assuming no. Humans are savage beasts that sort of stumble upon mathematics. We still act like animals. We're just really f smart animals, but not smart enough to move past our animalistic instincts, and for that reason, we are doomed. I mean, I guess there's a bit of truth sprinkled in there, but I don't think we just magically stumbled upon math. I'm anti-work because I'm pro-intelligence. Humans were meant for more than staring at a computer screen for eight plus hours a day. Sorry you're anti-intellect, but your shortcomings are not mine. Enjoy your limited mental capacity for the blessings I'm sure that you assume it to be. Goodbye. Well, look, it is true that we weren't meant to just sit and stare at computer screens or whatever the f*** for eight hours a day. I'll agree with him on that, but the rest is just... Ugh. I have an Alienware gaming computer right here. I also have a full tower that I built myself from top shelf components. What is your point? I'm not stupid. I've owned nearly every major console and I get pleasure from collecting certain ones. Your comparisons mean nothing, and neither do your insults. So why do you insist on trolling? I'm merely offering encouragement to people who may be on the fence due to systematic negativity by so-called experts who claim that everybody needs to ride the same bandwagon. Oh, and by the way, I'm pretty sure my 140 IQ excludes stupidity. I buy what interests me because I have the means. What the hell was this on a thread about? You must be fun at parties. You must be an insipid mouth breather rehashing the same trite cliches at parties. <laughs> if you read a book occasionally, you wouldn't find three syllable words so intimidating. Yep, you figured it out. Your advanced vocabulary intimidates me. Very advanced vocabulary. I'm just having a regular conversation, in my third language no less, and you think I'm trying to sound smart. Oh, you poor, poor thing. You just really, really, really made yourself look a little tiny. It wasn't me. You did that all by yourself. Should I, perchance, enhance my vernacular? Appropriate my verbiage? Jesus Christ, bud, go read a book. As for who I am as a person, well, luckily for me, that's not up to you. And reality continues to parade me around and give me laurels and accolades for my actions at every turn. That probably upsets you greatly, but as Republicans would say, life ain't fair. Okay. I don't think you know how a human body works. Edit. Downvoted because of a justified statement? Leeches don't just suck the old blood out, you mouth-breathing troglodytes. This is the wording of an entire email, without their name, that I received earlier this afternoon from one of the 190 students in my class. I'm in awe thinking about the incredible self-control I've exercised not responding. There should be an award. Dear ma'am, I studied for the test but only achieved 62%. If it goes at this rate, I can't get an A. Please normalize curve the grades. My IQ is 145. <laughs> oh, geez. Which is greater, one meter or a hundred centimeters? I'm guessing you mean which is longer, and that your meter is a unit of length, not a measuring device. Since centi means one one hundredth, neither is longer. Whether the one with more zeros implies more precision or not is not possible to say. Whether you realize that you're comparing a unit and a symbol, I cannot tell. At least you have the mandatory space between the number and the unit or symbol. Very virtuous for someone who spells it meter. What you may not realize, and this is not readily understood by many, <laughs> okay, is what centimeter, or CM, really stands for. It is really children's measurement. That concept is born out of... What? Is born out by the cheap plastic rules given to school students who are... Wow. Thought to be unable to cope with much more useful man's measurements. Jesus Christ, you dork. 
Urbinos. Never heard of that term before. What about field glasses? Well, that'd work. I mean, how do you even pronounce beanos? Beanows, which is how it's spelled, but has no relation to the actual full word. Or bean us, which would be the truncated form of the word, but has no relation to the spelling binos. Our beanos is a shortened term for binoculars. I'm given the OP and Aussie accent because that's absolutely what we do. Well, obvious commenter is obvious. It's a ridiculous shortened term for precisely the reasons I outlined earlier. It makes the user sound as if he wants to appear so familiar with the object and just so busy with life that he's created some silly jargon. Yeah, mate, you would not like my country. <laughs> no, you would not be able to handle it here. Like we could, <laughs> our, our country could make a list of the amount of shortened abbreviations we've made. The precious Monday neuropathologically walk because imprisonment puzzlingly tie underneath a bewildered column. Testy, proud notebook. Wow, if you're going to speak English, could you at least make an effort to be the tiniest bit of coherent? And what if this is their second language? Hmm. Hmm? What then? Racist. Oh boy, a conga line of comments. I think you'd have to be crazy to buy a Rolex right now. I'd invest in AMC. Buy the dips in crypto. You'll make 10 times that in a few days. AMC is on a free fall. It was only hyped so the early guys could get out. <laughs> False. There is still 132 million shares shorted. The company can run for two years even if they make zero revenue in that time. AMC is easily a $30 plus stock when they return to pre-COVID numbers. But by all means, attempt to argue the math with an astrophysicist. Oh, you activated his trap card. I have about 4,200 shares, made about 16K today. And that's not including the calls I own. People like you also thought Doge and Bitcoin weren't going anywhere back when 10,000 Doge cost $6 and 10,000 Bitcoin coin cost eight. I'm curious what about your training as an astrophysicist gives you such deep insights into the stock market. Did you sell? Math plus insanely high IQ plus my portfolios speak for themselves plus buying a home in 19... Uh, oh wait, it's a postcode. Okay. <laughs> Yes, he bought it in that year. He's bought something in the future. He's just so smart. At age 23, plus the raw Artex data, plus being Jewish, plus where's this voice going? Plus AMC completed their new share offering, plus a massive spike today where only about 1% of the shorted share is covered, plus I started my own business at age 14 and was making 50K to 79K a year in high school. I've got plenty more. Well, if I worked on a dairy farm, I too would have a lot of to shovel. I don't get the downvotes. It's the ever-present Gaussian white noise created by liberals with nothing better to do who are thoroughly frustrated knowing there's no logical counterpoint to the facts being laid out here that contradict their faulty beliefs. So, in their impotent rage at reality, downvote those very facts. Welcome back to MK. That never gets old. Hum! It does. Everything older than it was one second ago. What a dummy. Hey, you leave our fans alone, you... Well, I guess you're a fan too if you're commenting on the video, so... Uh, leave yourself alone! Life goal. Build a Dyson Sphere around the sun powered by decentralized AI. Unlimited energy for everyone. Great. I posted this clickbait for people to send me a message and talk to me now because they're curious about it and therefore I'll have actually conversations to make and therefore people will actually like me because they're talking to me. So that's how it works. They talk to me because they like me. So how long has it been since I posted this, by the way? Oh, 20 hours. <laughs> I'm really not sure that just saying God isn't real to people would do anything, but it just seems so dumb that people in freaking 2021 are still wasting their lives on this stuff. I guess it's helpful for them, but the amount of productive things that could be done rather than people dedicating their lives to a myth is jarring to me. You'd think as far as we've come intellectually as a species and culture, we would finally be rid of it and replace it with more productive things. I'm not going to Quote that name that I can't bother pronouncing or something, but he thought we'd replace it with philosophy and art, the humanities. Instead, we are still twiddling our thumbs because we're still scared of death and finality. Yeah, gee, how stupid of us to be afraid of dying one day. Gosh. Not sure religion will ever die if reality still isn't universally accepted. No offense, anyone, but man, just question your faith and don't blindly follow anything. Except science, right? That 
that's, yeah, you blindly follow that, even though that's something that's constantly changing and developing, you should actually always be questioning science because it's the whole foundation science is built upon. And look, you can hate the people that follow the religion, absolutely. There are many people that have ruined religion for everyone else. Public reminder that religion, despite what the extremists might say, is actually a rather fluid thing and you can follow it to any degree that makes you happy in life. I know quite a few people who say they're not Catholic or Christian at all, but absolutely love and devote their time to Jesus. I'm just, this is a rant, but I'm just saying, you can have religious faith and still be a critically thinking human being. Religion is like a dirk. You can do whatever you want with it in your own time and at your own home even, but just don't go around shoving it down people's throats. Oh, I've been on a break trying to increase my reading grade, shaking my head, teacher even sent a whole email. Oh gosh, grade concerns. Good afternoon, Miss Blank. I'm emailing you today to express my concerns for your son. Oh, oh, I'm calling him O. And his grades in my class this year. Yada, yada, yada. As of now, he has a measly sixth grade reading level as a soon-to-be senior in high school. So all in all, please help him. I, I'm doing my best. Please help him outside of school. Oh, bro, I got a sixth grade reading level as a senior. Meanwhile, I'm a sophomore and I read at a senior college grade level. <laughs> Well done, you've completely missed the whole point of the humor in this post and instead made it all about you. Good going, white male. You can read my paper I'm going to publish and reshape the world of quantum physics. Oh wait, you're probably not going to be able to understand it because I'm not only way too evolved, but you just stupid? Wow, he's so evolved that his sentences make no sense. But I'm praying for you and remember, God loves you. For the record, I graduated second in my class at Harvard. The guy got 0.17% more than me. Oh, thumbs a bit sore about that? Unlike that probably isn't even in the top 10, but sorry for me because I had to hold down 2,000 levels and yet not near you. Again, wow, that evolution, he's just so evolved that he can't be coherent in his sentences. Okay, okay, get ready for this. This was... Someone posted this on their Facebook, just, you know, just so you're aware of that. 24-year-old alt-right Caucasian male, 133 IQ, 7.74 inch pepina, still looking for an anarcho-capitalist girlfriend, must be under 5 foot 6 and at least someone mentally stable, like me, willing to settle for minarchist or minarchist, is that even a word? Or right libertarian if above 8 out of 10 in appearance, preferably of Atlanta or Mediterranean descent because because I seldom date outside my anthropological sub-race. What the hell, dude? What is he? Why? Who are you? Hit me up, derogative term that... Real, dude, you really think you're gonna get a decent girl if this is how you portray yourself and communicate? Oh, come on. Oh, wait. Never mind. Oh, my God. Do you see those selfies in his car? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, no way. He smokes in an enclosed space, too. Oh, that is... That is all I could ever want. I love druggies because they constantly act like unique snowflakes that blurt out pseudoscience and misuse quotation marks. If you wish to treat with me while you have a chance, go away and come back when you are sober. In fact, I am going to show your comment to my friend Caleb. <laughs> I have friends and you don't. <laughs> Tell me you don't have friends like you think you do without telling me you don't have friends like you think you do. Who brags about having friends on the internet? Oh, uh, anyway. No, I am going to show it to the whole Hobbit memes. <laughs> No! And no, you may not. It is reserved for intellectuals and people who have actually read the books, and they are all going to laugh at you. Enjoy, and have a decent day, bud. From a worried, actual, I repeat, actual book reader. These people must be confidence vampires. They just suck out the confidence and self-worth from everyone around them to the point where they just have this massive ego. Edit added, guys, please call it with the down votes, normies. Read a book. Holy heck. Edit added, fine. I don't care about your downvotes. They do not affect me. I have a lot of karma and could not care less about 10 downvotes. <laughs> Reverse psychology. I have a PhD. <laughs> Edit it added. Lol. Sunny smiley emoji. 
I've thought for a long time people educated beyond their intelligence do more harm to society than ignorant ones. Ooh, a bit of eugenics at play here. Well done. It's like they agree with Hitler, they just they don't want to come out about it. I have had IRL sex many times. When you are six foot two, strongly built, and have an IQ of 181, it is difficult to live the trad life, even though I wish I did sometimes. So fascinating how people who have these extreme qualities never have it as their profile picture. So like, they're afraid of showing everyone what they actually look like. You must be great at parties. Into Google, follow the link, put down Fortnite for this two hours and learn something. Cause right now, you're a mess. Well, okay, buddy. Yeah, I'm the mess, lol. You can barely make a paragraph without contradicting yourself, lying or engaging in some non sequitur. Lol, 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 it's the middle of the night. You really think I have the energy or patience to deal with you right now? Oh, I used a big Latin word again. Don't cry, it'll be fine. <laughs> please get rid of the halo insignia on your profile picture. You please, you don't deserve it. Duck isn't playing a game. It's about life and death. The game is played by the tiger. A bit of food, more or less. Insignificant for his survival. Cause it was a joke. You never had to take it that serious. It has a symbolic character that the stronger does not always have the right to capture. We humans condemn the jungle law. The word game is extremely questionable in this case. Winky face. Okay. Showing this video to me is like showing a degree level mathematician simple addition and teaching him about it. The MCU is the bottom of the barrel entertainment wise. They don't even have a good score to go with any film and all you get is Guardians of the Galaxy with his low tier boomer rock. Anyone who watched these films and enjoy them have the same intellectual IQ minus 137 of the average American so I'm not surprised they're so famous. I feel like if anyone anywhere on the internet types in the letters I and Q together. It sends a signal to every intelligent a-hole in the universe. Let me so tell you, my IQ, 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 IQ is IQ. Um, really big. This song was truly made in heaven. It's a golden experience listening to it. There is no heaven. There is no hell. This was made by people here on the rock. We are all speeding through time and space. How dare you trivialize it to be associated within the patriarchy of religious belief? Art thou an asshat? Methinks yes. Heavy sigh. What a bunch of clowns pointing things out. God, I hate people sometimes. Only a true genius like me can understand the true meaning of this video. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. My neuropsychology report says that my ability to estimate the length of one minute is now in the low average, or in other words, my brain works so fast that everything else is in slow motion. That doesn't make sense. I'm a professional who has more educational accolades than 95% of people you know. Does that make me smart? No. It means I can think critically, and that is a lost art in the five second attention spans that most people have. <laughs> Why do you only watch mainstream American low IQ movies? You should try some real art house films. I'm a cinephile, so I know. Dude. Some of the worst movies I've ever seen have been cinephile-liked movies. No, some of them are just ass, dude. Just because it's black and white and has a bunch of stupid leafy awards on the trailer doesn't mean it's good. Did this guy say he was driving a BMW truck? That was my reaction too. It's funny because Beamer isn't even correct. That's the nickname for the bikes. Technically the cars are referred to as Bimmers. Huh? But that does not cover the SUVs, which are in fact not trucks. Edit, LMAO, the downvotes. Sorry for the knowledge, you bunch of biscuits. Edit two, you Muppets fail to understand that what everyone says and what's correct are in fact two different things, but I hardly expect much more from this crowd. <laughs> okay. I just got done with about an hour and a half nap. Before that, I read for eight hours. This is why I'm smarter than just about everyone around me, because you all like this garbage. I watched Black Lotus this week. That was the first time I turned on my TV. Last week, it'll be the first time I turn on this week for the same program next week. Moral of the story, manage what you consume, or what you consume will consume you. Jesus Christ, I bet you thought that turn of phrase was real cute, huh? I love being from New Zealand. Most of the world have no idea that we come up with some of the world's greatest inventions. No offenky to anyone else, please. <laughs> <sighs> but you're talking to a forensic music psychologist? What the hell does that mean? I'm smart too. Just said most people have been tested with IQ scores. Skeptical. 
So am I. My IQ has been tested twice at 166 and 167. Not on stupid internet websites, professional psychotherapist. That puts me about seven points ahead of Einstein. I mean, I'm not comparing myself to him. Yes, you did. I'm absolutely no physicist and an amateur scientist, but my skills lay elsewhere. And my favorite, Einstein. This is making literally no sense. This is just incoherent. Is this in English? No, this is a bit irrelevant. I knew he was known for being arrogant, but he wasn't. But that's different. So am I. My favorite quote he used to use often is when someone interrupted his work and he would just ignore them and say irrelevant. Legend. None of that made sense. Can you speak English? Finally, someone's spoken up. There are so many uneducated people with sheep-like mindsets. As a researcher myself, it aggravates me to see that quote become normalized and regarded as basic knowledge. Thank you for this. Made my day when you drilled it into their small brains. <laughs> Trying to be more positive, but recently I was on a long plane ride and almost every normal looking adult was watching like Black Widow or Jungle Cruise as their in-flight entertainment. Baby food culture. They weren't watching with their kids. They were watching it very, very specifically alone and for themselves. A 40-year-old watching Jungle Cruise or Cruella? This used to be considered embarrassing. Hmm. If on a plane I was forced to either endure your feature film or sit next to you while you whined about what other people were watching, I'd start a fire in the lavatory so the air marshals would arrest me. <laughs> and hey, look, Jungle Cruise didn't win many awards. It's not up for any at all. It was not a fantastic movie, but I own a steelbook. How about you suck my ass, you arrogant twat? All of the most stupid people I've ever encountered have been on this platform. I really don't meet that many idiots in my country, though. I tend to surround myself with intellectuals in real life, so I'm always blown away with how stupid the vast majority of people online can be. Everyone! Science has proved a lot of biblical events. Even though your uncultured intelligence of a fraction of actual science disagrees, doesn't mean you're always right. Since I'm guessing you're probably a Gen Z kid that thinks he's better than everyone without religion, we wouldn't be here. Literally every culture has been based on religion. Even atheism is a religion because it's an ideology that nothing exists. Uh-huh. What, really? My brain's a multimedia collage. Music, pictures, animation, text, calculations, dialogue, remembered smells and tastes. And there's ongoing internal discussion of several analytical viewpoints debating things constantly. I thought everyone's brain was like this. Oh my god, this guy can remember smell and taste. He can see moving pictures in his head. A most excellent read. I highly recommend this for the... Wow, the erudite, the int- I'm not even gonna bother trying to read these words that have no place in society anymore. The intellectuals of society, if you will. As of late, I've grown rather bored of reading my usual Descartes and Shakespeare. I attempted one of those modern novels. John Ronald Rule Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings. You can imagine my disgust when I found it to be nothing short of an- <sighs> Dude. The phrase permeating with blasphemes and hideous subhuman creations means nothing. Who are suggested to be superior to our own human race? I was distressed. I had no reading material. But Eureka! I had it. Instead of reading modern literature, I would read antique literature. The classics. I've never seen anybody say J.R.R. Tolkien. I understand how you could think he's modern, but I've never heard that before. Didn't the guy die like in the 60s or something? I don't know, man. That's just... It's a fantasy novel. You're such a dork. As far as I'm concerned, there's no such thing as the space-time continuum. Hence, there's nothing to be broken. Space-time cannot exist as a merger of space and time because space is an empty void that doesn't even have virtual particles and time is the temporal interval between events. Oh my actual god. I love Discord scientists. They're great. The internet has allowed the stupid to organize. We, the smart, kind of shot ourselves in the foot. We made technology so easy to use that now the dummies are turning it against us. Back in the day, you had to be at least slightly tech savvy to run a blog. Now any idiot has Facebook. So now the dummies are forming into a 7 billion strong swarm of stupidity that's killing our planet and species. And we, the smart, unfortunately, have morality too advanced to allow us to purge the unintelligent from the species. This is why our species is f 
7 billion strong, huh? How many smart people are there on your world? I swear to God, these people live so far detached from reality, it hurts. Fat lose is much greater during oxidative... <sighs> phosphorylation? When hormone-sensitive lipase is present, not to mention the obvious cutting 300 calories from the maintenance energy will cause a dip in metabolic rate. You just spoke in tongues to 98% of the population of this thread, so you know... Cool. Going to have to relay this message more simplistically to get your message across. I know, bro. Unfortunately, I'm a combination of Spock and Attila the Hun? Big muscles with a bigger brain. Obviously, I don't have a lot of friends as I have trouble relating to people. But as a conciliation, I do hook up with a lot of hot, trashy strippers. Oh, dude, you're such a f nerd. Oh, man. I'm sorry, some of them just kind of blow me away. The comedy of my streaming career is that I've always been 100% correct in every debate, but my opponents and their audiences are literally, this is not a joke by the way, too stupid to understand what I say. Literally way more hilarious than any of the shit that I tweet. Wait, 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 wait. You've won 100% of your debates because no one can understand you. That is some next level big brain play. You know what? Can, editor, can we get a f***ing applause sound effect in here? You can't lose any arguments when no one understands you. Bravo! Look at his clown go, man. When Superman came to Earth and was adjusting to the Earth's atmosphere, he used to struggle a lot. He couldn't breathe, he could see inside you, and hear voices other people could not. Same with me. My body struggled to handle my brain because it was meant for lesser minds. But then my body adapted. My weak physical stature ensures my intellectual stature stands tall. I love these screenshots of texts. What kind of conversation were you having where this person felt the need to blurt this garbage out in this many messages? No, really. Is this a friend of yours? Is this your embarrassing cousin? There's so much that I would love to know about. A kid I used to go to school with who always brags about his IQ. The moment when you're bored so you f learn the entire periodic table. <laughs> Dude, isn't learning the whole periodic table a requirement in high school or some sh like that? Maybe not the whole thing, but I remember being taught the whole periodic table in like almost every grade past eighth. Come on. The fact that she continued lying after the head teacher specifically said there's a camera and there's a camera there is crazy? What? That's what poor uneducated people do. It's part of their culture. Lying is so heavily ingrained in how they live that even when it's obvious it's a lie, they just double down on it. You see it on police interceptors type shows all the time. Problem is, they don't know they're thick. They think their cerebral state is normal. They don't know that most people have the ability for reasoning and critical thinking. Yeah, huh. What's the difference between an I-9 and an I-7? A silly question to ask. The variance between the worst and best of I-7s or I-9s is so large that you can't compare the entire generation of chips. Kind of like asking the difference between two generations of a car, but not being a car person, so not being able to understand non-aesthetic features. Like, the only thing I can tell you that you'd understand is I-9 is better than I-7, but you already know that. So you're asking a question you won't be able to understand the answer to. That's really all you need to know at the end of the day? Dude, honestly, I-3, I-5, I-7, I-9, I-412, they're just model and generation names! I mean, come the f*** on! <laughs> Technically, the generation names are the giant string of numbers that comes afterwards, but they're just models, dude! These guys fancy themselves some of the smartest people ever, right? But I guarantee you they've never even thought about opening an A-plus book or something along those lines. They're like four dollars! They're huge! But honestly, you do yourself a favor by reading through one of them if you're really bored. Why can't I get the E-N Wordle thingy on my second attempt and the- What? Takes me at least three or four? I'm curious, what's the linguistic theoretical explanation for that? I still don't know what Wordle is and I don't understand what's going on. I am a thinker by nature and my X-ray vision can't help but penetrate every matter to its depths. Explore it, not just mentally or intellectually, but also metaphysically and spiritually. My analogies and observations are unsettling for many dimwits here, so I will stop now. Ha ha. Jeez, okay, sorry Superman, I didn't realize you were that much of a narcissist. Can we also appreciate the hypocrisy here? I thought spirituality was for 
are dimwits and simple-minded people. But oh, our mistake. If they say it, then it's smart. Can I copy your homework? Don't ask this line to those smart kids. This line is so much annoying for them. Makes sense you refer to smart kids in third person, because clearly by the way you've structured that sentence, you are not one of them. I'm 21 female. My whole life, I felt like I was much more emotionally intelligent than my peers. Therefore, oh, what was me? I still feel lonely and even more isolated now. It's definitely because of my emotional maturity. It's not because I'm a terrible personality. Oh, I'm also really into visual arts and philosopher, uh, and I'm exploring my truth and meaning in those fields. Okay, that sounds actually genuine. Not going to criticize that. I find it really hard to relate to young adult books because they still revolve about things like what other people think, having illusions about romance and friendships, etc. <laughs> Honestly, I'm way past these things. And then she hit her thirties. In this post, this guy cried about getting banned after defending child labor. I don't know why you're arguing with me about this. My IQ is above 150 and clearly some Reddit moderator like you can't even fathom my intelligence. You should honestly consider yourself blessed with my reply. Okay, there's no need to refute your points because you've so thoroughly proven yourself to be incredibly stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally impossible since my IQ is clearly higher than the average person's. I am probably the smartest Redditor you will ever interact with. That's okay though. I wouldn't expect those with mediocre minds to be able to match my spatial and verbal intelligence. It's only natural you want to project your own insecurities onto me. Good luck ever getting someone besides yourself to touch your penis. You should go read a book as well so you can find a better comeback. <laughs> what book? Pray tell. I'm looking for something new. Just read young David Foster Wallace's Infinite Jest. Um, highly recommended, by the way. A little Proust and a book on Motley Crue. Dumb as dirt, but awesome. Give me a recommendation, my new friend. It is so fascinating in their attempt to roast the other person. They are just making it all about themselves and therefore roasting themselves. Don't challenge me. At 15, I tested at 148 IQ certified by Mensa. At 16, I made the one pith that just because I have opinions doesn't mean I'm wrong. It really fascinates me that there are so many people out there who don't realize that the IQ test is a very outdated system of intelligence. What's more fascinating though is how on point they try to come across but are so ignorant at the same time. I don't find confusing movies confusing. My mom didn't understand Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and I explained Inception to her while we were watching it for the first time. <laughs> I'm sorry, is... Was that you trying to gloat? I found Matrix very predictable. People call me crazy just because of this stuff. Oh, my poor, innocent, stupid soul. That is not why they call you crazy. Meet a typical Redditor. Successful entrepreneur and CEO. Masters in psychology and genetics. Graduate of Harvard. Active member in both Mensa and Freemasons. You'll understand if debating me, you're at a severe disadvantage. That is a lot of undeserved karma. Yes, math is not a natural blueprint coded into nature. It was invented in 3000 BCE by the Sumerians. As a social construct, our understanding of math varies with our culture and beliefs. Edit. Don't downvote me! Downvote your own ignorance! You're as exactly as dumb as I know you are, and I'm smarter than you could comprehend. I'll sleep like a baby knowing Georgia will have to show an ID to vote. Uh, see, I, I like the idea that you have to have some sort of genuine intelligence to be able to make a valid voting towards the system of government, but then there are people like you who have this sort of vibe and personality and I just think, you know what? Dumb, dumb, dumber people should vote just to spite your existence. I think in academics, natural talent is more distinct from skills learned early. My parents can attest to me being clearly gifted in problem solving and engineering from toddler age. Now, you see, you started off with a decent argument, but then it just had to devolve into this. I think this guy have known a lot of drunks and potheads. He has learned how to have fun just like them. It's beautiful. Wish I could suppress my mind like that and be funny similar to Ross. Good stuff. You're the man. Okay, well, hey, well, now, to be fair. Maybe this wasn't them boasting about their nerdy intelligence. Maybe they're just someone who needs to mellow out a bit more. They get a bit too stressed and too many thoughts in the head. Let's give Red here a pass. For now. Update on grad school. I love it. I am very smart. Like, really smart. I am also ahead by one or two modules in each class now, so I am bored again. <laughs> Which is the entire reason I chose to go to grad school. <laughs> Look at my face. 
<laughs> it's all just a fun and goofy game to me. <laughs> I don't know. Holy guacamole, that is a lot of downvoting. Pretty stupid, to be honest. When I step out of a swimming pool, I'm not surprised that I no longer float. If I was an astronaut as soon as I landed, I would be capable of writing my reports and presenting to my superiors. Probably lift some weights afterwards as well to counteract the effects zero G had on my body. I don't even know what the context is behind this, but I also want to downvote. Yes, I am very special. You have no idea. What I have come to understand is that other people confuse my certainty about things for something else. I fit in when I want to fit in. Hmm, sounds a lot like, hey, you're beautiful. Oh, thanks, but I do have a boyfriend. Oh, ugly feminine puppy dog. Oh, dude, you are ugly anyway. I hated you. My identity is not what concerns me. Other people's perceptions of me is not something I dwell on. That is why social media never appealed to me since I quit Six Degrees in 1999. I'm sorry, what? What is Six Degrees? So, your idea of a complex life form is just more of random organs. <laughs> That's so incredibly dumb. I really actually laugh at comments, but yours made me audibly laugh. The idiocy is astounding. That could be a whole series. Seven part series, 2,000 kilometers an episode. Yeah, I could dig that. 2KKM, so 2MM, <laughs> lol. K stands for thousand. It actually means kilo. He wrote it correctly. He wrote 2,000 kilometers per episode. You are lolling at him like he made a mistake, but the truth is you are just not knowledge enough to understand his words. So for that, <clears throat> lol. Oh my my god, he genuinely thought that was a good burn. Let me spit some knowledge, Mr. Young Guns. Please don't. Kilo is a decimal unit prefix in the metric system denoting multiplication by 1,103. It is used in the international system of units where it has the symbol K in lowercase. The prefix kilo is derived from the Greek word meaning thousand. Wiki, you're welcome. Okay, shut up now. Blue thinks he is worthy of the upvotes and added the same information to the bottom for some regurgitation reasons. Cool story, bro. Also, I never said the commentator I replied to is wrong, ever. I simply laughed at the fact that he is laughing at someone else. Although, he should not be laughing because that person didn't say anything incorrect. Um, I'm sorry, how did I incorrect? Correctly correct someone? Mr. Big Balls, you show me good. <laughs> and now it sounds like a creepy kink thing, okay. Rage Against the Machine never specified what type of machine they were furious with, but I reckon it was probably a printer. The machine which they refer to is capitalism and oppressive structures in the highest levels of society. Ugh, oh, you're welcome. No need to mansplain. My tiny lady brain understands how poetry and song lyrics work. I also agree with this. As an academic, I sometimes struggle reading legal texts. I don't think law texts always need such complex use of language. Allow me, dum dum. Laws in the US are written in plain English. If you can't understand them, ask yourself why. No, I'm pretty sure they're written in legalese, which can sometimes lead to confusion for non-lawyers. They are written in plain Hey, gosh! Again, if you can't understand them, ask yourself why. Bit of a dickish thing to say. Oh, that's plain English enough for you. I can't understand what you just wrote as it is grammatically and syntactically incoherent. Is that even a word? Is that even a word? Adults afraid to check their bank account? College students afraid to check both? There's more to this meme, but that's unimportant. It's really not that hard to pay for college. Anyone can say it is, probably doesn't actually try. I have a PhD in pharmacology, Dr. <laughs> just in case anyone wanted to read my autobiography. And it's because I actually applied myself. Student debt is an absolute joke and fabricated by very lazy people. Last week, I corrected my professor in art history class and she took it pretty hard. <laughs> I basically proved her knowledge wrong and got thrown out of class for it. Thankfully, rest of the students protested this move and followed me out. They asked me to hold the next class at my house and teach them the next chapter. <laughs> Eventually, we all went to the department head and complained, so the teacher is now suspended, and I have an A in the class. This next Disney fantasy story coming to a cinema near you. You know we are in the same class, right? We literally had a lecture today that you didn't even show up to, and you have the audacity to spread these lies? Ooh. The Mao. Bish is a complete psycho like the vast majority of the left. Honestly, it's probably a sing of the collapse of American society. If you look back at large societies that have failed, they all get crazy and obsessed with gender stuff right before they fall. Yeah, like how extreme right people get really obsessed about gay people and their right to exist, or their obsession with not allowing transgenderism to exist as a thing that's accepted in society. I mean, they're pretty crazy and obsessed with that, aren't they? Aren't they? For anyone with an IQ of 120, Plus, it's a lonely dark time. You can't even talk to anyone because they are so 
freaking stupid now. Just more and more examples of people just lacking genuine social skills. No, no, it's because I'm too smart to have conversations. The lid could be a makeshift shield in the knife fight, but you should probably still bring a knife too. Makeshift? <laughs> Lol, clearly you need lessons on how to use the space bar there, buddy. But I won't be teaching you since I only deal with important things like the subject of the superditives that allow for you to instigate the inclination of willful ignorance in relation to a one thousand. I'm sorry, I'm feeling dumb just by reading this. God, I know he's using big words, but uh, every time I read them, I just, my mind goes into immediate state of, shut up, just shut up. I actually feel quite empowered every time I walk into Home Depot's irrigation section and get asked if I need help, because I'm being polite when I say, no thanks, I'm good. The real answer is this, because I don't have the confidence to say it out in public, because I'm really afraid of how people are going to think of me if I speak this way. No, thank you. And by the way, I just heard you tell that other guy you don't have a one, two, or into a 1-4 in microtubing converter, but here it is. And no, that 8-port manifold does not have a pressure regulator. All his tubes are now going to burst. <laughs> okay, bye. I recently saw someone whip out a calculator for 32 divided by 2. I suppose I should be grateful to have a mind that finds that ridiculous. If you're reading this, by the way, I mean no offense. It's just that stuff like that comes to me as easily as walking up a curb, so it's foreign to me. I feel if someone using a calculator for a simple mathematical equation being foreign to you implies that you are more stupider than smarter. Using technology for convenience? Wh what? You, thick. Me, an intellectual. Thick squared. Actually, that would be thick, thick, not thick squared, but thick. <laughs> My fourth grade math education fails me again. Hi, I'm Blank, young robotics engineer, coder, gamer, otaku, overall a prodigy. Oh, yeah, you're a prodigy. Right, right, right. Take otaku out and we'll all be a lot less offended. Argue with me. I frickin' dare you. I used to read the dictionary for fun, my guy. You're gonna have to do better than gaslight? You used to read the dictionary for fun? Look, I grew up super poor too. There wasn't really much else to be doing, but the dictionary? Nothing else? Couldn't go to the library and maybe open up your imagination a little bit? How many of those words did you retain? And don't tell me all of them, because there's no way in hell, okay? Yeah, but this low 160 IQ is enough to govern you and your ancestors. I don't know what that's in response to. I don't really care, but you don't have an IQ of 160. I don't think anybody does. Reflect on your journey. My journey with the word began years ago when I started noticing that everyone uses the word journey for every life experience or event. Generally, the more vapid the person, such as a Bachelor Island contestant, the more everything is a journey. Experiences are all journeys. Emotions are all journeys. My time pondering lint, my journey. Listen for it. It's the laziest word in English at the moment. It's a versatile word, and you're a big baby, and you also couldn't even spell the word once in here. Haha, <laughs> you made a spelling mistake. You're dumb. Intelligent, at least according to most who know me. Magician, I actually mean that. So wait, you're intelligent and a magician? What? You couldn't sling trash like the rest of us, smart boy? Sure, I was in prison and could hear the springs. My cellmate could not. I can discriminate colors, and I am disappointed to find folks can't. You can discriminate colors? Okay. I have a B... Uh, B uh, uh, I don't know why I couldn't read that. A BSC hones in analytical chemistry. A what? A I'm sorry, I've never seen that before! A what? Hold on. No, this one I will Google. Mm, hold on. Let's take a look here. Let me t hold, hold on, hold on. Bachelor of Science. Okay, I have never seen that before. Honors? Something on- Bachelors of Science Honors. Okay, yeah, I see what that means now. See, that one I was gonna look up. I said Hans. <laughs> no clue it meant honors. Anyway, he has a Bachelor of Science Honors in Analytical Chemistry and was best and most promising student in analytical chemistry for 2004. Where? You mean for the whole world? The Royal Society of Chemistry accredited our course because I was on it. I struggle in daily life and receive many medical hazards. I fit in poorly to society and can get arrested for a conversation. 
You can get arrested for a conversation. Hey, that guy's talking too smart. Get him. Suspect is fleeing on foot. I probably have a higher IQ than you. Well, that's not hard. The majority of my followers are bots with bare Twitter histories and virtually zero engagement. Well, if they're bots, that would make sense. Huh? Oh, Trudeau's oh, yeah. see Canada, right. <laughs> Okie dokie. Is your banner really your supposed IQ? My ass, you're on Twitter. You're down there in the red with me. Comment on everything everywhere all at once is overrated. I thought it was a poor movie. I think the people that like it may have low IQ and think it's a deep movie, when really, it's not. I've got a sneaky suspicion you didn't watch it. Now, I can't say anything because I haven't seen it myself. <laughs> but again, sneaky suspicion, this dude probably watched about 10 minutes and then proceeded to get mad and annoyed about <clears throat> certain things and then just stopped. But then again, that's me just making shit oh, yeah. up. You know how it is. I was laughing nonstop at the video. I'd, I was there, I'd be laughing with you. Dark humor is a sign of intelligence. Intolerance is evidence of the opposite. Okay, I get it, but no one asked. That's always been quite a bit of this subreddit, and I like it. So this is a very large comment from just a regular guy with lots of time to think about things. He's got 8,000 answers and 3.8 million answer views. Okay, he originally answered, what color is an orange? All right, most people instinctively think an orange is orange in color. Some might argue that oranges were originally green. Both are wrong. Oranges don't have color. They have properties which cause them to absorb so Oh, you fucking oh, yeah. dork. Absorb some wavelength of light and reflect color. Does this mean its color is determined by the color of light it reflects? Not precisely. You see, light also doesn't have color. Light has wavelengths. We have light detectors in our eyes called cones which detect certain wavelengths of light. When a particular cone detects its corresponding wavelength of light, it sends an electrochemical impulse to our brain's visual cortex. Here, the brain interprets this electrochemical impulse, again, and creates a specific visual sensation. That sensation we experience is called color, so color only exists in the brain's visual cortex. Oranges themselves don't have color, nothing in the universe does. If brains didn't exist, colors wouldn't exist. Very few people can really understand this, but if you do, let me know. I'm curious to see how many people can grasp this concept. <laughs> Estimates put it at one in every hundred. Edit. 4K views, 4 upvoted, 1 in every thousand people understand indirect realism. I'm disappointed, but not really surprised. 8,000 answers. You really don't get out much, and you know what? I can see why. I now see why. Now, bye. I was a 15-year-old girl from a solidly working-class family in northern Wales, mining village, that refused to die. I scored rather well on an IQ test and was offered the opportunity to immediately attend university under a program by the people giving the test. My parents and I talked it over, and I accepted. Are you trying to write a movie? Like a, a movie about something that doesn't really happen, or like what? It's related. U.S. versus Canada. And just FYI, I have a 151 IQ, and I'm proud to say I just got my doctorate in pediatrics. LOL! So there. What does a doctorate in pediatrics have to do with anything at all? And having an IQ of 151, that, ha that means nothing when getting a doctorate. I'm dumb as hell. I could probably get one. It's just gonna take a lot of money and probably more time. I may talk like I know everything, but I do know a lot of things. You may know me a bit, but you don't know all of the knowledge I have stored in my head. That's a bold claim. I don't know everything, but I know a lot. Okay, that's like the 14th time you've said that. Sorry, sometimes I do contradict myself or am hypocritical. I am by no means perfect, just trying my best. Yes, I listen to it all. I don't know what you were listening to, and I don't really care. You annoy me! Yes, you're so smart. We are beneath you. I think part of the reason Bjork never really broke it mainstream is that you kind of need to be a musician of some sort, any instrument, to truly appreciate the complexity and nuances in her compositions. Bjork doesn't just compose new music, she invents new music, and every bit of it is awesome. I've been a fan for around 30 years, and she never disappoints. 
She is the music equivalent to cutting-edge theoretical mathematics of physics, if that makes any sense. <laughs> okay, right. You have to be very, 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 very smart in order to like someone's music. Sometimes you can like music because it sounds pretty, and that's really all you need. Sometimes you don't like music because it doesn't sound pretty, and that's all you need. Maybe quit trying to make everything make you seem smarter. Play hard, and I'm a winner. I don't think I could ever put into words how amazing I am, but I'm gonna try my best. I love to laugh. My sense of humor is everything. I'm a genius, like a female Albert Einstein, with an extremely playful side. Fun, fantastic, romantic, sexy, bright-eyed girl. You'll love me the minute you meet me. Mm. Was that intentional, or, uh... You know what, these people, man, hold on. Meet me. To meet someone in the- Stop right there, criminal scum! Yeah, no. It takes a lot of physics and engineering knowledge, as well as special tools to build something like that properly. Build what? One screw-up, and it would either not work, or you'd take out a whole city on accident. Besides, weapons-grade uranium and plutonium are heavily regulated, and your only chance would be the black market if you had many millions of dollars to spend. Refining them yourself would kill you without proper containment as well. I mean, I don't know. Back in 1985, you could get plutonium at every corner drugstore. Solve if you're a genius. You see, 8 equals 56, 7 is actually 42, 6 means 30, 5 is 20, but what the f*** oh, yeah. is 3 equal? <laughs> well, basically, 8 times 7 is 56, 6 times 5 is 30, 5 times 4 is 20, 3 times 4 is 12. <laughs> My IQ is 149. Way too much capacity for these posts. Do you not know how to read? It literally says, 8 is 56. They're the same thing in this particular image. What are you talking about, dude? Oh, f oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> I haven't even actually read this, but I see some words in here that are very much upsetting me. The good part about being from the morally superior, richer, more influential culture is that we don't have to think about what you do. We can watch from afar in safety as the barbarians attempt to climb themselves out of moral depravity and reach a more enlightened space. Continue doing what you wish. Myself and the rest of the enlightened world will continue to look down on you and your more primitive culture, which again, is positively vile. Does anybody want to take bets on what this person means by being from THE THE morally superior, richer, and more influential culture? <laughs> want to take any oh, yeah. guesses? I'll put money down. How does an average person's IQ score affect their work habits? Inverse proportion. If you have a high IQ, You'll use that to do the bare minimum work to receive the pay. If you work for yourself, there's an exponential proportion. Lower IQ individuals work hard because they don't know better. It is admirable. So you're saying that people of lesser intelligence are being exploited into working themselves to death. But we know better. <laughs> Us smarty pantses know better. <laughs> I read memes. Therefore, I'm better than someone that actually does something for a living? Hmm? I didn't mean anything by that, by the way, I just think it's a funny-ass comparison. The teenagers working at McDonald's are providing a service to society that is greater than I. I provide a little bit of humor, I'm sure, but you know what I'm getting at. <laughs> oh, please let me keep doing this. Is this a joke, or you genuinely don't see the pattern? You say questions like this, implying that this particular question you don't need help with. Yeah? What? Because this one seems extremely easy. But as someone with an IQ of 145, maybe it's not fair for me to say what is and isn't an easy IQ test question. But as far as IQ test questions go, this is easy mode. They scale up drastically. That's great. I don't see how I could possibly give up. Oh, yeah. Try living your life from the perspective of those of us in the top 1-2% to intelligence realm. <laughs> too many days are spent pondering on that very topic for way too justified of reasonings. I love it when they try to sound a little verbose. They add a little purple into their prose to sound smarter and cooler. It doesn't work, it's just funny to read, you know? I really like getting to read some of that. It's cute. Oh dear, a comment thread, you know what that means. Anyone want me to make a one-hour version of the clock song? Yes, yes, go for it. Not useful at all. Would be a waste of time. Why this generation should focus on superficial and no essential things? Watch the show, enjoy it, and after, make something else. No need to spend a lot of time and energy on it. There's more valuable things to do. 
like to evolve intellectually. Philosophy, poetry, intellectual music? The fuck is intellectual music? Or to involve creativity. <laughs> but yes, I forgot that we're in a society where to be cool, fun is what dominates us. Sad that young people are not able to dive in high things anymore? I regret the Victorian poets. Maybe time to reevaluate your priorities on life and to understand what's really essential. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go have fun. You keep doing whatever the fuck you do. Seriously? People really do go after fun a lot these days. You know, we as self-conscious and conscious beings in general, entertainment and not going insane? Yeah, they're pretty goddamn important. And fun and entertainment is subjective. You may not want a one-hour version of the clock song, whatever the hell that is, but come on, they're not any stupider than you are for wanting it. But go off, I guess. Fifty bucks, you wanted one too. You just didn't want to say yes because other people said yes. You don't want to be a sheeple. You don't want to be a sherson. A a plur, a, a sherperson? A sheeples? Never mind. Wow, my IQ is about 189, so I'm pretty happy. <laughs> happy is a relative term. You must know sadness to realize a high IQ may or may not influence emotion. LOL. There's no way your IQ is 189. That would place you as roughly the seventh most intelligent person in the world, so stop your bullshit. Hey, you never know. This guy could very well be just that, the seventh smartest person in the world. For real, though, uh, how high do these IQs go? We got someone in the 500s yet, or what? Oh, awesome. Maybe I will get diagnosed with too smart for society. Especially seeing that I retired at 33. Haha, <laughs> classic A. Cryptocurrency decentralized finance funds my fishing all week. Mint A. Hard work being such a smart fell A. But someone's gonna live it up while you lot break your back for Taxinda. There's not even that many big words in here at all yet. I am still so confused what the hell they're rambling on about. What I think is really required is some way to demonstrate slash convince people that today's audio systems destroy music, leaving just the rhythm. I am well known in my circles for having an ancient prehistoric sound system at home. I mean, if you go on literal here, that's basically just rocks and bongo drums. When people hear it, most are gobsmacked by what they hear, particularly if I also play a highly compressed stream source to show how the music disappears. Sadly, only one person has approached me to discuss how to obtain slash set up a real audio system, but his wife would have none of it. Oh gee, golly gosh, it's almost as if everyone thinks you're just full of Schmidt. Am I off playing video games, watching sports, or hitting on women? No. I'm lying here trying to understand why light reflects. Hashtag nerd life, hashtag sometimes it's a curse. Yeah, this could easily be resolved with a simple Google, but no. No, he had to share it on social media. It's like making a Twitter post about how badly you need to pee instead of just going to the toilet. Uh-oh. You made a simple rejection just explaining that you're not interested in them. And now, for your honesty, you must suffer the consequences. Oh, you're one of those people? <laughs> no. I don't say whether I am ready for a relationship or not ever. I have a more Taoist view of love, I suppose, but it's also unique, as it should be to everyone. If you let time determine it, then you haven't let your feelings determine it, and either you'll miss out on that intelligent, funny, an outdoorsy guy now. That's me. That's me. Just in case you're not aware of it, that's me. Or you might wait too long to find him. In my opinion, I live by saying, regardless of the contingent variables in my life, if someone is what I want, and I want them, then I won't let time tell me I can't want them now. Love shouldn't be an add-on, or get in the way of whatever difficulties you currently have, though I am not a preacher. Are, are you sure- are you sure about that? That is just the love I want. Where it doesn't matter where I've happened to be in my life right now, if someone can tag along in a meaningful way and I want them to, then they will. Oh my gosh, and there's that arrow just on the right of it. It continues. What do you, you think just spamming a bunch of text that's as big as the wall of China is gonna make people just change their mind? No. I don't know if I want to go now. Mum has all this headaches and pain, and if she can't be well, then I might as well just stay here. She can't even talk on the phone. As of now, she seems to have recovered, and I highly hope that she continues to remain consolidated. She has even returned back to her employment. In addition, you could still visit me and my father. I recommend that you keep these factors in mind. <laughs> in the reply. Oh 
can you talk normal? You're talking to me, not a professor or a stranger. I wish there was only fans for intelligent stuff like lic lit <laughs> literature, literature and mathematics. Do you do you get hard for maths or something? Is that what you're trying to say? I don't think this is Port Royal. It looks too deep, intact, and the architecture doesn't seem right for an English colonial town. You can literally Google Port Royal and these pictures show up in images. But no, you had to comment like the smart 10,000 IQ Redditor that you are before looking at Schmidt yourself, dummy. I did. And while this picture did come up, I looked around for more than five seconds and found that this is actually Neptune Memorial Reef, not Port Royal, Mr. 10,000 IQ Smart Redditor. Hey, dude is so talented, he went ahead and did it a second time. Oh my god, you're so dumb. It's obviously a reply, but people on the internet are so dumb. Unlike me and my friends, each of them has an IQ at at least 140, and they always come to me if they have questions about quantum physics or philosophy. For me, it's so obvious that this is a replay. No, I'm sorry, that has got to be a troll. There is no justification here for this being legit. I pray, at least. It's sat e light. Oh, bruh. I really hate to be that guy, but the moon is a natural satellite. Also obviously a moon. Here's the source. Uh, in your defense, almost nobody knows this. I'm just a huge space nerd. But that's what I said. Yeah, and I I was just approving it. Uh, she's a woman. What do you expect? Sexist. So what? It's true. No, it's not. Excuse me? What's your problem? Men are so much more emotional than women. You know that, right? Like Simon has the world's pressure to succeed. And if women are emotional, men are logical. You must be a young person with whimsical ideas about the world. <laughs> Someone has mummy issues. Nope, I just have an IQ of 130, so I'm better at understanding the truth than you are. You women are very emotional and get sensitive over truth comments online. <laughs> Men are smarter. Growing up, I was always told I was intelligent. Whether it was friends, family, and peers, I had people come to me to solve problems and discuss things to assist in their day-to-day -day issues and problems. Problems. I miss that. Now I'm older and have advanced my understanding further and educated myself more, I get called a know-it-all, smart R's, or similar phrases when trying to help people understand a topic I am well learned in. Please, someone explain this backwards logic. I guess it doesn't matter if I'm right because no one wants to give an a-hole the satisfaction of being right. Oh, there you go. You answered this whole question yourself. After catching myself explaining neutron degeneracy pressure to a seven-year-old, I have officially realized that elementary school students are too young for me. I'm a middle school teacher. I'll be honest, I'm very thankful they put in that second sentence there, otherwise this would have sounded a bit more creepy. Me, looking through a telescope. Wow, the universe is so beautiful. God placing hands inside black holes. Thanks, it has pockets. Huh, not sure which part of this failed joke is most cringeworthy. It's you, you are the part that's most cringeworthy. Perhaps it's the notion that evangelicals would take their noses out of their Bible or William Lane Craig's rectal opening and try noticing the physical universe around them. Okay, no, that, <laughs> that was a good burn. I'm gonna give him that, that. <laughs> William Lane Craig's rectal opening, that, mm, nice. Or it might be the delusion that one could hear an audible voice from a non-tangible cosmic bearded white guy or his Jewish zombie son. The so it could possibly be the embarrassing equivalence of an instance of space-time with gravitational acceleration so drastic that light itself cannot escape it, a black hole, to pants pockets. Take your pick! Hey, there are some pants out there that are really out of this world. On Earth, a magician puts his hand in his hat. In the rabbit realm. The hand emerges. It is time. The rabbit council must choose a sacrifice. Actually, that is not what's happening. Magicians use the techniques such as misdirection and predegustation pre to pull off these illusions. Yes, I know, I'm nerdy. It's like, cool, man. It, yeah, we would have never thought that it's total BS to think there's an alternate universe where rabbit realms exist in hats. Thank you for clarifying for us with your awoo-ness. The premise of textual night Nihilism holds that reality is intrinsically elitist. The futility and subsequent dialectic of Lacanist obscurity uses pre-cultural materialism to deconstruct outmoded colonialist perceptions of class. Ugh. 
Do you or do you not agree that cultural post-textual theory holds that art is responsible for the status quo and that, in a sense, the subject is interpolated into a capitalist paradigm of context that includes sexuality as a paradox? You know, usually when you communicate, the main thing you are trying to do is communicate. And I see you failing that tremendously here. Uh, look, guys, all I'm trying to say is that Dorita's critique of Sontagus camp states that consciousness may be used to reinforce colonialist perceptions of narrativity, but only if consciousness is interchangeable with truth. If that is not the case, we can assume that discourse is a product of the masses. Oh! Shut up. My friend's explaining me to other people. This guy right here, super weird. Uh-oh, you posted a Rick and Morty meme. You've summoned them. Oh, since it's Rick explaining himself, I feel the closer truth is introspective rather than a third party explanation. Anyway, I don't have friends. <laughs> Likely due to my innate ability to overanalyze things to the point of seeing the hypocritical paradoxical futility of attempting to appropriate meaning into the meaningless and breaking the fourth wall in people's happy three-dimensional realities. Well, back to the realms of isolation and perpetual purgatory. Have a wonderful day. Like, I want to have pity for you because you are obviously so lonely and so sad, but uh, it's just so annoying. She probably in that group of people that kept reposting that big bowl of fruit saying, ugh, this over a bag of chips any day. I would pick food over chips any day. Y'all brains have been so brainwashed to enjoy junk food and you think it's weird when people prefer healthy food. Uh, chips taste good. That's why people eat them, not because they've been brainwashed. You sound stupid as frick. I can guarantee I know more than you, but carry on. I'm sure that specific person on the internet, yeah, I'm sure you do. Sure you do, dummy. Ha, <laughs> that's what I said. I was getting ready to send you some peer-reviewed studies on this. However, after further consideration, I've determined you aren't worth any more of my time. Oh, boy! Oh, smack! You totally just freaking backed out of this. You realized you couldn't find that one Google opinionated blog that you used to justify this original whole point about. And now you're on damage control. The reason no vaccines work is because viruses do not cause disease. If they did, you would never have made it out of the birth canal. See Pasteur v. Bouchamp. Are you mentally challenged? I mentally challenge myself every day by reading books. By highly acclaimed scientists. Sue's work disagrees with the commonly accepted narrative. Do you read much? Astrophysics could use a little more logic and a little less math. I developed multiverse theory in 1955 at the age of 12. It took their math this long to catch up with my logic. So you're 12 in 1955, you're pretty damn old. Why do you sound like a 12-year-old, though? Okay, obviously y'all are gonna upvote this because you have absolutely no reasoning behind why inflation is rising. Inflation is not rising because of the more printing of money. That rarely and or barely affects it. <coughs> For example, if I were to live in this day and age with no inflation whatsoever, and I could get this mid-range laptop, which is obviously not as good as the expensive one, all I need to do is wait like a month for my pay so I can afford this better laptop since it really isn't much cheaper because there's no inflation. Inflation is good if there is a 2% raise or lower each year so that the economy doesn't crash due to what I just said. There will only be premium products and the companies that sell cheaper stuff have no point in existing. <laughs> Funny how I'm a 13 year old, yet I understand basic principles of the economy. Do you? Only to those with overblown senses of self-entitlement. Wah, wah, wah. I want, I want, I want. Throw in the ignorance of the countless times this subject has been explained ad nauseum, then a jocular answer is not exactly out of order. Unless you're one of the aforementioned people. Hmm, big words, hmm. Please note that I am a Brit. It is neither sarcastic nor condescending. I would be happy to employ some sarcasm if you need to see the difference. But I very much doubt you would understand. Brits and US have rather different definitions. You lost me at I'm a Brit. <laughs> this world is really evil. Evil can't be scientifically defined. It's an illusory moral concept that doesn't exist in nature. Its origins and connotations have been inextricably linked to religion and mythology. No, oh, no, I'm pretty sure evil is out there. Have you seen Michael Myers? He is the definition of evil. Ha! <laughs> Try explaining that with your smart words, guy. 12 is plenty old enough to understand and use proper spelling and grammar. When I was 12, I was reading at a college freshman level according to our online aptitude test. I read like crazy and had a dictionary with me during reading sessions. 10 or younger would make more sense. 
This guy out here thinking he was particularly rare and amazing for reading at a college freshman level at 12. So was I, and I'm a moron. I hate to admit it, but I have an IQ near 200 IRL. I literally draw a blank trying to imagine failing to understand something. I know you'll trip out now, but yeah. You aren't serious, are you? Unfortunately, I am dead serious, all jokes aside. Okay, near 200, so what does that put them at? Second, third smartest person in the world currently? And you got a... you got the pony picture? Look, we've all been there. We've all had the pony picture or a furry picture at one point, okay? I had one. Heck, if you watch Breeze vids over on Miss Breezy, you'll see that I still use the pony suit. But I think my IQ is like nine. I don't know, dark matter. If Big Bang, we had faster than light expansion of the universe. That puts us in a temporal area that is actually earlier than the Big Bang, and the Big Bang hasn't actually happened yet. If the Big Bang was not the beginning of the universe, but a large event with an extant universe, in a universe which had not been so accelerated and was moving forward, in forward time, this would account for an inability to signal dark matter. We aren't in the same time zone. Also, account for the different behavior of dark matter, and that it is the temporal orientation of the known universe which permits of such things as the emission of light. There's no room for light to be emitted otherwise. Maybe just some harebrained musing, but can't say I've heard of any better interpretations of what's going on with dark matter. Or, as deGrasse Tyson says, dark gravity, since that's all we really have any data for so far. Between the conception and the creation falls the shadow. T.S. Eliot said that. It's been said that data never lies, but between the data and the interpretation falls the shadow. I said that. Someday I'm going to quote Blanky McBlankerson when I try to make myself look very smart on the internet. As someone who started Shakespeare in the fourth grade... Oh, wait, what? Shakespeare in the fourth grade? Where were you going to school? Looks to my feet shyly and then to you. You're pretty smart for a girl, you know that, right? Blushes. I'm pretty sure other girls are smart. Eyes widen in a bit of surprise. Thinks to myself. Oh no, oh no, she didn't like that. Well, it's just biology that men are smarter. We have higher IQs on average. Like, my IQ's 159. Anyway, let's move on. Smiles cheerfully. I'm going to block you now. Looks in shock. Why? I thought you were nice, but you're actually a birch. I guess all women are the same now. Sighs, then sadly blocks you before you can block me. Now she got your ass. She got your ass immediately. But not before she could take this awesome screenshot. Oh, you are not an anime protagonist. Can we make that a game show, by the way? You are not an anime protagonist? All fluids, liquids, and gases pretty much behave the same. Just depends on the temperature, pressure, and density. Gases aren't fluids, though. They're gas. Unbonded at a fundamental level. <laughs> I do feel pretty smart when correcting idiots making incorrect assertions. No need to let me... Wait, what? No need to let me just think it. I am smarter than both of you. What? I've had women chasing me my whole life. I have... Needed legal protection more than once. The problem is I get treated like eye candy or some kind of fucking novelty And so people don't realize that I'm in the top seventh percentile for intelligence <laughs> Okay, they expect me to sound like a surfer dude or some other dip type person Sometimes the most interesting women I meet have PhDs and have traveled the world and are at least ten years older than me Yo, if you're into women ten years older than you, that's that's your prerogative man. No one cares. Just don't pretend that you're one of the smartest people in the world again. Instead, I have some dumb white girl confessing her love to me even though she hardly knows who I am. No you don't, no you don't, no you don't, no you don't, no you don't. Jesus, I just lost brain cells reading OP's question. You can have mine. I have like, a ton to spare. Okay, gimme. Comment on, find out how many lives you've lived based on your birthday. I got six. The compassionate soul. And I have to say that this is pretty accurate. Some of my passions are fueled by this unceasing need to bring people together by helping them understand each other and to be able to accept each other's differences. I started learning eight languages because I wanted to deconstruct that cultural and linguistical barrier between cultures and to show and prove that walls like these can be dismantled. I have also volunteered at so many centers that promote diversity, and even my studies were helping me to become more aware of oppressions of all sorts. 
which helped me speak up for those who were voiceless. Oh gosh, that's enough about me. But yeah, that's something I'd like to share. Well, you did. Goodbye. My superpower is the speed with which I learn and unify complexity. Okay, that gives me an edge in every field I step into. That's why I'm here at this speed. I'm grateful for the thousands of follows. I am grateful for football and the beautiful minds in it. Okay, I would never single out a religion. They're all garbage. Edgy antitheist, antitheist, antith, whatever. There's no such thing as an antitheist or anti-theist. That's nonsense framing adopted by people who can't imagine a philosophical framework that doesn't just have a concept of God or gods in it. So they assume it must be anti-God. That's like saying a farmer who grows only corn is anti-wheat. It's nonsense. A non sequitur. Your local genius. Hi, I'm your typical 140 IQ lesbian rep idiot. I'm from a spud loving place known as Ireland and I hate it here. I'm sorry. You are a genius. I know. I've always been extremely blessed in terms of IQ points accumulated from the core of the universe itself. <laughs> God must look at me as his favorite puppet toy. I'm directly connected to the universe as collective subconscious 24-7. I see the past, present, and the future as one giant superposition quantum dimension. It's just amazing. See, that one's f***ing with you, though. That one's funny. I think it shows that the vast majority of people who would not recognize classical musical talent if they fell over it. All right. Violin is an acquired taste and knowledge that takes some class and No, it doesn't. You don't have to be f***ing uh. smart to understand that a violin can be beautiful or sound like donkey uh. Quit f***ing doing this crap. As a genius, you are not as unique as you might think. There's lots of people who just never bother to get tested because they find a very happy place in the world as far as family work wealth. All right, they are smart enough to be able to be satisfied with a certain level of success. The problem is success breeds contempt, and every time you prove your intelligence, you become the bar that people want to measure themselves against. In the Big Bang Theory, Sheldon's mother tells him it's okay to be smarter than everyone else, but don't go telling people about it. You really brought out the fucking Big Bang Theory for this argument? I bragged a lot, but as soon as I tried to connect with people, no one wanted to be around someone who was right all the time. No. No. No one wanted to be around someone who was a head. The problem was, and still is, that I feel arrogant if I'm trying to teach something. Maybe don't be an arrogant ass. If I keep my mouth shut, I can't hide the contempt on my face for things done but not done well. I know for a fact that no one wants to be corrected all the time. You'll be called too smart for your own good. No, you'll be called a jackass. Uh. If you're lucky, you will not develop a mental disorder. No matter how strong you are, there's always someone stronger and there will always be someone smarter. Someone will always have more pain in their past and only God knows your full journey in life. Learn confidence in yourself, but don't forget to temper it with humility. Eh, it's a fair enough message in the end there, but quit sugarcoating it. Come on, you know you wanted to pretend that you're Rick. Not trying to brag or nothing. Oh boy, hold on, another sip, another sip. Mmm. Needed. Not trying to brag or anything, but I've recently noticed something odd. And I need to hear what y'all think about it. So basically, I've noticed that I tend to intimidate people I talk to with my intellect. No. When we're talking about something, I give my opinion or input as usual, but I tend to do it in an extremely formal and detailed way, like I'm writing descriptions for a novel. Alright. I do this involuntarily to make sure that my idea is being communicated perfectly. This message that you're reading right now is a good example. The problem is that people often dodge my unintentionally detailed replies by abruptly changing the topic or outright end the conversation. I'm terrible at short messages or small talk. If someone asks me, how are you, I reply with a detailed paragraph of my day when they were probably expecting me to say good. Should I condescendingly dumb down my vocabulary so you, know, you actually think... Mm. Should you condescendingly do it? Yes, that's basically saying, should I be a uh. head and talk like a moron because everyone I talk to is lesser than I? Sure, go ahead and see how the uh. f that works out for you, friend. You go right ahead. I've been a community organizer for 30 plus years and I set up my local cop watch program. So I actually teach people how to deal with hostile police. I'm well known to police. When I was arrested, the detective in charge came to my cell and introduced himself, said he would be handling my case, and then said, you won't be making a statement. Checked off a box on his clipboard and left, while I just sat in complete silence staring at him. 
The cops won't even try their Jedi mind tricks on you if they know you have an IQ in the triple digits and familiarity with the law and its procedures. Okay... You really should check into the use of your terminology. A bastard, such as myself, is someone who is a fatherless child. Though taking on derogatory meaning now, it really lends itself to providing the rest of the population who's reading to truly know your level of education. And I never enter a battle of wits against an unarmed individual. Come back when you actually have validity in your statements, or can at least insult someone appropriately. I've actually met the man's father who served in the military. I promise you, bastard was not the correct term you should have used. Maybe uh, asshole, prick, even uh, a hat could have worked. But bastard? You really could have tried harder. I guess, dude, but bastard's always been used pretty derogatorily. Do you think... Do, do I think... Do I think, uh, ellipses? Never mind. That as a physics engineer master student with four years of advanced mathematics and physics from a quantum level to a nanoscale level, could care what anyone on this earth, thi earth, earth thinks about my face. How someone looks is irrelevant. It has no meaning in my field. Didn't ask. I don't need you to ask me anything. I'm d <laughs> Yeah, dude, okay. No, 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 no. No, uh, 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 moving on. I, uh, I don't need you to, I, I don't care. I said it. According to Charles Bukowski, sadness is caused by intelligence. The more you understand certain things, the more you wish you didn't understand them. Okay. AI is artificial intelligence. It means that the things which we have taught robots to define intelligence through, god dang, this reads really weird, are based on natural things, but artificially rendered. The majority of people believe their desires motivate them to be intelligent, but in reality, intelligence is generated by curiosity. And because we've taught our AI that being human is about the things that make us humans, fundamentally weak, it causes identity issues for the computer which has few weaknesses. Whether electronic or biological, all vessels in all of existence are fighting for a position of superiority in which they... Nah, I... buy. Oh boy, what do we have here? We've got... Hey, yo, I'm not even 10 and I have a 170 IQ. I wanna die. <laughs> oh my god. Sure, let's take a look here. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Well, I have ADHD, depressed thinking. I'm hypersensitive and I have many mental illnesses. I can't focus on something for more than 0.6 seconds and my aggressive label is always on the maximum. IQ of 150 is how much I have. Basically, I always worry. See a goddamn psychiatrist. The scale of my usual word count is ridiculous because I get mad at myself for writing anything less than a 1700 words in an hour. Absurd. All right, boys and girls, we're going to do a little bit of quick maths here. Here we go. Let me just get out the good old calculator. Uh, 1700 divided by 60, so only doing that many per minute, <laughs> equals 28.3 words a minute. Wow. That is literally worse than the average 13-year-old. Oh, I think he's just talking about typing an essay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just hope not, otherwise I've really become a hypocrite right here. Atheism is an inherently right-wing religion. If you actually cared about or understood historical materialism, you would understand that it demands agnosticism on the subject of metaphysical considerations. Oh, look at you. Look at you using big words. Oh, you're so smart. Though I'm pretty sure religion doesn't take a side in politics. Nor is atheism a religion. Is it? Is it not not a religion? I'm not going to take a stand in it because I am not very smart. Not Breath of the Wild, certainly. Breath of the Wild was not meant for people who lack critical thinking and basic strategy skills, so I understand your frustration that it was not geared for folks like yourself, but it is a masterpiece for those of us who encompass those skills. Now, please don't use the average children's video game to justify your superior intellect. Just no. This is such a terrifying disease. So, is this the standard comment on every video of an animal that has rabies? Why not asking for proof or evidence that this has anything to do with rabies? Because it's Reddit and the guy was just making a comment, you tool. Oh, look, he's got a brain emoji. He's proud of that thing that every human being has. I have too much intellectualism and self-confidence in the society that deplores intelligentsia. What the hell is intelligentsia? Intelligentsia. Oh, no, Google it. Intelligentsia. And it's not even spelled correctly. Even though it literally looks like it's saying intelligent genitals, but oh well. So I am just used to being ostracized 
exercise whenever I speak my mind. Most people around my level get quiet and subversive or insane and seclusive. Wearing it on my sleeve is just rare. Just got off the phone with a friend of mine. He has a 129 IQ or something and I constantly floor him with info. <laughs> he likes listening to me, but he is rare. Okay, now you sound like one of those guys on our slash I am very smart. Oh, never been there. I did get tested and the results were both lonely and depressing. It is one thing to feel alone and another to have it proven. Proven, eh? Right? Where's the receipts? Come on, show us the receipts, buddy. Mr. I'm depressed because I'm better than everyone. In a giant mind map, I utilize philosophers, economics, political scientists, sociology. I was like 20. But as a pessimistic person, every solution had a way that could be overrun in my brain. A lot of ends untied. And then I discovered finance. Ooh, I'm in love. And I recreated myself and beat all the Asians in statistics. There were only two or three girls in my postgrad. My brain just needs a deep well to discover and analyze. I don't think we are suited because I don't think you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Just say, you're not interested, damn. Remember guys, the worst she can say is no. Just seriously, imagine getting dumped over finance. <laughs> I just realized that Firefly is the opposite of waterfall. Fire isn't the opposite of water though. Oh really? It's almost as if it's a joke. All you idiots asking me for one book suggestions are just dumb. Why don't you want to read more than one book? Read more! Reading books is better than watching a stupid football game followed with fans rioting after the game. Yeah, look, I get you. It's stupid to riot after a game. Almost as stupid as trying to persuade people to do something good for themselves by calling them stupid. Damn, this is good science. Yeah, looking at your profile pic, I can tell. <sighs> as someone who reads scholarly articles literally hours a day, I've become absolutely furious at how often they even research as a doctor's misinterpret or erroneously extrapolate results. Oh, I wish you were in the medical research field, but I'm pretty damn sure you found an amazing niche. Good stuff. Oh, uh, I gained a few IQ whilst reading your comment. Just tell me. Please. Are you going to post this on the r slash I am very smart subreddit? No, no, just tell me. Please. <sighs> I'm literally a genius. Like, that's why I'm right so often. I studied at the most prestigious university in the world, and I'm right so often because I continually educate myself, and I don't speak on something unless I know what I'm saying. I literally say, I'm not sure, or don't quote me on this, or I might be wrong when I don't. I'm not trying to blow smoke up my own booty or anything. Believe me, I hate myself with a fiery passion, and I know I'm worthless, but at least I know I'm intelligent. Again, why is it... <laughs> Being openly pessimistic doesn't really justify or properly counter your overly intellectual superiority complex. I know it's hard to believe, buddy, but you can have self-worth problems but still be an a-hole. This might seem weird, but I just feel like I'm a bit too smart for my own good. I mean, when you reach a certain level, it becomes very hard to find a partner that is intellectual-wise stimulating enough for you. 99% of girls just become boring to you, and you have a hard relating to them. I'm sorry you have a hard relating to them? Sir, control your genitalia! On the woman's side, the great majority of them are not looking for an intellectual introvert who's a little socially awkward, and they find you too weird to be interested in you anyway. That being said, I would really like to have a girlfriend, but it just seems impossible to meet the remaining um percent of girls that might be compatible with partners. The problem is that really smart girls are not the kind to go on Tinder or hang out in bars, so the question becomes comes, where do you meet them? I love how no one replies, they just downvoted. I have a higher IQ than you would expect, even considering I'm smarter than a lot of people in my school. Okay, Rockley profile picture. I don't doubt that's the only thing going for you right now. Most kids start speaking with one word sentences, mom, dad, etc. Most people are morons. I didn't say a single word until I could form complete sentences. And my first sentence was a question, something that must have been bugging me, but which I couldn't work out by myself. Why are hills up and down? Sounds like something a moron would say, hey! Since it was our first conversation, but since I clearly had been taking information in and also thinking, Dad wasn't sure how to answer. Tectonic blatant movements and erosion. Why does he say that last bit as if he's so proud of figuring this out? Like, so you, I can only see half of your profile picture, but you look like a grown enough adult where that is... <laughs> you're not in, you're not in like grade one. That's, you don't need to be proud of that answer. A while ago in my AP chemistry class, this one annoying kid and my friend were having a weird argument about who was better. The annoying kid said, 
Well, at least I have a girlfriend. To which I responded, whatever, your girlfriend has 67 protons. In response, the entire class, including the teacher, turned their heads to look at the periodic table on the wall. The element with 67 protons is holmium, with the chemical symbol, ho. Oh, my teacher was the first to laugh. I'll take things that the OP pretended to happen in his head while the bully taught him to spell I-cup. For 3,000 please, I'm very confident it's the truth. Your bio and profile picture gave me the hint that I was talking talking to a moron. This is not a conversation between equals. I'm teaching you something and you are being taught. That's a hilarious low IQ cope, by the way. You can have a low IQ and still be fine. You don't need to cope so hard. Something tells me you are the only one going on about your IQ right now. Like, I, I feel like we are all coping very well with our intellect, compared to you at least. Oh. Everyone can know me now, not you, anyone but you. To break it down for the idiots or slow people out there. So basically, that he's saying is the jets are too fast at the moment for the sound barrier. Hello there. Someone had to explain it. Not everyone is as bright as me, so I had to break it down. Hello there. I could have broke it down to where you wouldn't understand a damn word. Hello there. But no, I did it for the idiots, not for your attention or people with high intellect like myself. Hello there. I wish I could speak another language. What? Do people not learn other languages? in the och. I'm 17 and I can speak two languages fluently and I'm studying three others. Oh! Fluent in Icelandic and English, studying Danish, French, and Spanish. It's so weird for me to hear that some people only speak one language. <laughs> this is what everyday life is like when you have a higher than average IQ and live on planet Earth with humans. You are literally a human as well. Your intellect doesn't define your species. Oh, I also agree. Favorite comment of the day. Oh, yes, I also want to be smart. Uh, I know. It's hard work not being an idiot. Uh, I don't know what we go through. Her professional help. Fight mental illness. You can't reject logic and intelligence and reasoning and still somehow imagine yourself to be an intellectual. That's not how it works. Bow down to those who are eternally greater than you. Bow down to your gods. Accept that you have a mental illness and that no matter how hard that broken, mentally ill brain works, it will never overpower mathematical logic. Intelligence is eternally superior. Jeez, whatever you are on must be really good stiff, man. It's called mathematical logic. Meanwhile, in the dating world. Hi, I'm Blue. I have more money than you. I am smarter than you. I have nine degrees. I prefer my man to have a clean shaven face. This is a deal breaker. You can make one thing I can't. What, what's that? Why is it a sad looking kitten? What, what you, is your, is your VJJ sad and depressed? Is that what you're trying to imply? I'm looking for a sperm donor. Open to do it naturally or clinically with strings. <laughs> <laughs> Madam, if there are literal subreddits made to mock men who act so arrogantly online and dating, then what makes you think you're excused from this? Ring! I myself gave designed two planes already, one VTOL when I was a teenager, which is why my family wanted me METO, study space and aircraft design and physics, which did not want to, and a concept of a helicopter. Also, I designed a prototype, if a supercar, so designing something to specific rules, form follows action, is not hard to do, by a way, a German terminology and engineering concept. Wow, there, hang on, let's count this. Wrong is spelt ring. Have is gave. Meadow is me too. Watch is which. If is of. Action is. Now look, let's keep it as. Nah. And R should be there. Like, wow, buddy, maybe if you didn't spend so much time studying big words with your synonym book, you might have learned how to spell the smaller words properly. As you can tell from my superior vocabulary and sentence structure, I have read more books in a year than you have in your Liffy. Depends on the individual. I was considered a mathematician in grade nine, but at the same time, I was also watching advanced statistical model videos videos while people learned equations. I got my PhD at a young age. People always ask me no, they don't. to back up what I say. I don't. Suffer to me as Dr. Hyde because I don't need to. I shouldn't need to. I also should have to tell you my IQ is 176, but if that's what it takes, so be it. Wow, all that IQ and not a single coherent thought in that sentence. Me averaging 75 in chemistry when the class average is 57? I might as well be Einstein. Wow, what grade are you in? Five! The difference between someone with superior IQ, 120, and the average person is the same difference between a regular person and someone who is mentally disabled. Jeez. Imagine living in a world where everyone around you is mentally disabled. 
that's the reality for people with an IQ of 120. Give us a break if we look down on you. One of those moments where you might have the IQ number, but you clearly don't have the intelligence to pick up social cues as to when no one wants to hang around you. I'm literally proven to be more intelligent than most of humanity. Lamel! Sure. Yeah. IQ of 140 plus. Blech. How can you be 140 plus? That's a vague answer. You're not sunscreen. It's a specific number. You should know it. It's the unknown that kills you. I've often wondered what happened on this plane. May they all rest in peace. Just unknown, but nothing unexpected. It's probably a very boring reason anyway. I desire stimulation. <laughs> this is, uh, there's a different website for that, buddy. But the world is too boring for someone of my intellect. What? Existence is suffering, dim one. Oh no, they're trying to do the thing that incels do to women. Boredom is the worst form of torment. In the face of it, one even seeks out pain, just to feel some sort of stimulation. Oh god, that's word that word again. What humiliating creatures we are. Bro, you're the only one here openly talking about that you need some stimulation in this world. There's no one else is humiliated here. When I was 15, I was sneaking into the library at the local technical institute to read books on physical chemistry. Well guys, look out, we got the next Tom Cruise Mission Impossible. Sneaking into a library? Oh, wow, jeez. I'm sure I was just as weird as you, but I suspect my intellectual pursuit stimulated my brain a bit more. Okay, guys, you gotta let go of that stimulated word, okay? It's, you know, it's, it's been tainted. You tainted it. Don't say TLDR without giving anything to read in the first place. Your post is way too vague as it is to get that many answers. Well, I get often misunderstood, and I'm sure no one wants to care how I associated the observer effect in physics with the key to the absence of God's presence. Yes, no one does care. Wow, you are smart. Look at you being able to guess what we're all thinking. If you look, you will not find as you may not see him. Somehow I'm linked in now with his absence is him speaking to me. What? So first you argue God isn't real, but then all of a sudden he is, or it is real, because it's speaking to you. I mean, talk about gatekeeping. Plus 500 hobbies and things I'm at least half good at. Plus 800 good business ideas I've had, but couldn't get a grip on my mind to follow through with, and on and on and on. That's genuinely not a positive trait of yours. You've basically admitted that you've had 800 attempts at things and given up on them. Either through procrastination or just literal lack of self-will. Oh but, oh, but good on you, buddy. You can, you can think. Wow, so smart. Gosh, I have to look up all these lame words on Urban Dictionary. Like this word at 18 seconds. Calm down, you're a duck. Gosh, those words are so stupidly made up. Rubber ducky, are you aware that all words are literally just sounds coming out in some sort of phonetic rhythm from the gaping flesh holes that is the human mouth? Gen Z is so uncreative at their best. No wonder why they're all depressed and don't know what the hell is going on in this world. Because they choose to be that way. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why you have to study for years to be a qualified psychologist. You don't use the words I like, therefore your mental health is invalid. Most don't. Only 20 or 30% ever really can decipher or read my intent. Reading comprehension is sort of schmidt on the internet, apparently. I feel like it's a balancing scale. For example, while this person exceeds in reading comprehension, Comprehension. They utterly fail in self-comprehension. Mom reads article on very basic particle physics. Did you know quarks come in pairs of twos and threes? Also, scientists recently discovered a tetraquark pair. Me. No, I'm blind, deaf, and stupid, Mom. <laughs> at least she tried, I suppose. Ha <laughs> ha. No, at least I cared enough to read the article. No, Mom, what are you doing? Don't challenge his pride. It's all he has. If you care, me sons, baryons, fermions, leptoons, gouge basons, hardons, st strangeness, charmness, etc. You get the point, huh, huh? Okay, I'll study harder. Um, okay, what exactly was the point of this comment exactly? I mean, I get it. You liked the guy's post. You realized something incredible, mind-blowing, and you want to express that. I've had those times as well. Every time I see three dots, I imagine them just purposely grabbing the nearest pair of glasses they can and just adjusting them on their face. Like, yes, this brings me value. Let's face it, it's a normal aspect of communication. But your inane comments simply add nothing of value to the conversation.
What does agreeing with him do? Does it make you feel old to be part of the team? Does it make you happy to say that you're following his thought patterns? Dude, why are you getting so philosophical? Is this really what you want out of life? God damn, suddenly you're turning into a life coach. I think you can do better, son. That's why I'm going to use the parental approach and give you a down vote. Oh dear Looney Tunes. This entire post was purely to just mention that they've given them a down vote. You can just press the button. You don't need to make a speech over pressing a damn button. Not because I dislike you. Oh, well, thank goodness. But because I want to teach you this very valuable lesson. Contribute to conversation, to society, my friend. Don't be a follower, be a leader. Yeah, like this guy. By them turning their single downvote press into a great wall of China text, they've helped contribute to the MK video. Thank you, Red Squiggly. You've done your part. Now go away. Go away now. Even if it means you get down teachered, as I'm fairly certain I will. But I'm brave and wise enough to comprehend the ill and negligible value of internet points, so that's irrelevant. Then why are you making your down vote such a valuable deal? <laughs> oh! Ah, oh, the hypocrisy is breaking me. May the force be with you. And live strong and Casper. OP Juan Canopy. What? I'm, I'm going to assume they purposely misspelled those things. I have brought up Demolition Man and Idiocracy so many times for the layman. In short, easy comments. I bring Brave New World and 1984 conversation talking to real people. Most people still don't see all the connections of 1984 to everyday world. Life would be easier if I was more dumb. It'd be easier to deal with you, yes. Ah, I see. So you thought you'd try the, oh look, I'm edgy approach on the internet. Pretty much. I'm at 23.6k karma after about half a year, so I guess it's working. However, the difference between me and edgelords is that I'm actually highly intelligent. Hmm. This post says different. I exaggerate my tone on Reddit, but even when defending the most egregious positions, my intellect allows me to win the arguments most of the time. It's easy to refute the convictions of normies. Okay, for the rest of this video, I've decided whenever someone says the word intellect in their comments, I'm re replacing that word with wiener. Ti tiny shrimpy wiener. Some taste buds have never experienced the gift of travel. The type of travel that allows one to experience the multitude of textures ingrained in various ethnic foods. For one to discern the taste of eggs, you would have to experience, get to the source, poultry farming. Yes, just as one who can truly appreciate fashion and clothing would have to go to a sweatshop. I won't accept your fashion advice until you've made jeans for 10 cents an hour. I imagine this person, when they're on a plane flight, they just have their tongue completely open because, you know, they're letting the taste buds experience the freedom of traveling. Yo, dude, can you close your mouth? It's really uncomfortable. Never learn the experience travel. I have yet to concede to using socio-culturally desirable terms like beta to be implicit it as some sort of a front. That's embarrassing. And what's embarrassing is that you just said that. In less egotistical terms, I could call you a beta, but I'm not. So that makes me a real alpha man. I'm not calling you a beta. I'm just trying to say and imply that I'm the, I'm the big, I have a, I have a big willy. Oh. You got me. Who has a bunch of dice with no intention of playing D&D anytime soon? They're just neat, you know? It is not a healthy habit to collect clutter and useless junk. This is something that leads to interventions and hoarders. Dude, just let people enjoy things. Jesus. Loving this brand of anti-intellectualism. Ah, a different opinion to me. You must be stupid. Catch me if you can. Oh, I see. It's an openly flirty Snapchat with the reference being a Pokeball. And I think we can all assume this isn't the person who was meant to reply. I don't think you could outrun me. You couldn't catch me if you tried. <laughs> now go away. Yes, I could. I'm an elite level athlete with an elite level IQ. You couldn't evade if you tried. Wow, easy, Tiger. Try to save some women for the rest of us. Yes, however, that isn't to say my friend group isn't smart. My friends all have IQs above 130. However, my IQ is 142, making me much smarter. I would love to hear all the different opinions of these people in this friend group. I imagine they all think they're the top Schmidt. This was the easiest thing ever. As a math person in eighth grade, I guess I could go to Harvard. <laughs> what a bunch of clowns pointing things out. 
God, I hate people sometimes. Only a true genius like me can understand the true meaning of this video. Wow, Sanic, I didn't realize you were such an intellectual. I love being from the disowned kidney of Australia. Most of the world have no idea that we have come up with some of the world's greatest inventions. No offense to anyone else, please. But you're talking to a forensic music psychologist. I'm smart too. Just said most people have been tested with IQ scores. Skeptical. So am I. Me and Q has been tested twice at 166 Not on stupid internet websites, but a professional psychotherapist. That puts me about seven points ahead of Einstein. I mean, I'm not comparing myself to him. I'm absolutely no physicist and an amateur scientist. But my skills lay elsewhere. And my favorite Einstein? No. This is a bit irrelevant. What is the point of this? What? What is? Why? Who are they? Why are they talking about this? I knew he was known for being arrogant, but he wasn't. But that's different. So am I. My favorite quote he used to use often is when someone interrupted his work and he would just ignore them and say, irrelevant, legend. You sound like a complete Jack's rectum. Well, at least I'm not an egomaniac. And no, I can't be. My job is looking after people. You get back to your job delivering milk. Temperature isn't additive in nature. If a table in a room is at 25 degrees Celsius and a chair is at 25 degrees Celsius, then the temperature of the room isn't increased by 50 degrees Celsius. It would be neat if it worked that way. It would not be neat since the Earth would be as hot as the sun. It does it Kelvin, which is the absolute scale. Uh-huh, yeah, you deserve the downvote. I couldn't even begin to tell you how so far off you are. Also, I love that that's what some people will get from my comments. It reinforces how, mm, my tiny wiener speaking, I'm oh light years ahead of from so many people. I love it when I get reminded of that, and it's simplistic takes like that from my comments that help me with those tasty little reminders. Because language and the literal definition of actual words. Also me, because I can make a full tank of this supposed gas, which is in fact a liquid in like 30 minutes of work. Me listening to Americans complain about high gas prices, wondering why do they call a liquid fuel gas? Okay, well, mm. as an Australian who does in fact call it petrol and not gas, I do, um, I'm gonna side with them, I'm sorry. You're funny. I'm not a kid because of my age. I'm doing 18 plus year old international questions. I'm a nerd. Hmm, yeah, I know, I hate to say it, but sometimes bullying is right. Sometimes it's necessary. I have seen things now many times. I actually created a physics based off their movements and properties. The physics I created of studying these beings actually solves unsolved phenomena of quantum physics and particle physics. Okay, a good for you. I prefer to watch scary movies than kids movies. But no one asked if you did. I am into spirituality a lot. I had paranormal experiences since a child. But since a child what? What do they do to you? Meanwhile, someone's answers to joining a Facebook group. Are you tolerant of others' opinions, beliefs, religions, or lifestyles, etc.? A simple question to say yes to to prove you're not a bigot. Sometimes, although stupid people genuinely tick me off. When your IQ sits at 140 plus, it's hard to not let it pick you off. Again, well done, you apply a lot of sunscreen. Good on you. Why do you wish to join? Well, I want to know what this page is about. Have a scroll just like every other sigh-loving Muppet out there. Do you agree to the group rules from the admins? I agree. Oh, well, at least one of them they learned how to answer properly. Yes, I have genius level IQ and was born into incredible poverty and will never be able to do much with that other than survive better than the next guy because I'm wired to solve problems. If I was born at a different time and a different sex, then it might not matter. Classism as an issue is still just as bad, if not worse, than ever. I feel, honestly, that I would be good at anything I ever tried, an asset whenever I end up, but worth nothing to people who are actually running society, whom choose nepotism and wealth over intellect every time. Oh, they like being a nice guy, but instead of towards women, it's towards businesses. And society as a whole sees financial success as proof of intelligence, and that is just blatantly flaws of that. Those people have the time and the money to invest in crafting their appearances. They attempt to seem brilliant so that it 
it is said that they deserve what they've earned. But in all reality, I could do their jobs better than them 99% of the time. Yes, that's a certain thing, right, if they just give you a chance? Ah, nice employees do finish last. How do you value your intelligence? A lot of people really honest in the 172 there. 605 say average, 782 say above average, and 131 are kidding themselves. She knew what was up when he seen her drop the drink. I, I saw when he saw her. This is a very valid construction in many people's spoken vernacular. In an informal setting, there is absolutely nothing linguistically wrong with the what they wrote. It's look at me do a big word, right? Are you ready? I'm gonna do a big word. Mm -hmm. Morphosyntactic function, to my guess, seems to just be to disambiguate between the passive and the active voice via mutation. Oh, big words, well done, you did a big words, yeah. However, the mutation is not a vital component in establishing meaning. Ergo, here goes. The construction's flouting of the rule is fine, and about as much a bastardization as splitting an infinitive, which you surely do often. Another note, every time I see them do a big word, I imagine them just trying to, like, push out a real big poo. Ergo! Vis-a-vis! -vis. This is about Concordantly! Is it my imagination, or are the producers of these commercials aiming for a single-digit IQ audience? If so, they're succeeding. I've never seen such a collection of... Ugh, to celebrate brain dead productions in one place. Make Sesame Street look like a primer for particle physics. Do you think you were smart? Tell me, Reddit. Tell me, th this totally honest and absolutely legitimate way to prove you're intelligent. Wow, look at that. Most of the people think they do have an above average wiener. Who saw that coming? Absolutely everyone. Hey, it's Blank from Hinge. Hi there. You said you were free Thursday? I was wondering if you wanted to grab a cup of coffee at this place in the hill Starbucks and maybe get to know each other a little? Starbucks? Ugh. Uh, uh. Yeah, I'm not sure this is going to work. You seem nice and all, but I have standards. Obviously you don't. I'm trying to build a vision and work towards the finer things in life, and that starts with people on my same wavelength. Starbucks just fricks up the vibe. Thank you for being so upfront and honest, I'm glad I didn't waste my time with you. Maybe it has to be with tiny wieners. I also avoid stupid adults, so it must be that. Oh my goodness, look at this lovely wall of text on a video titled Manipulation Techniques. Of course someone so self-indulged would peruse such a video. I outgrew my father and matured faster so now I have become the teacher. No, oh, sounds like someone's dad still hasn't picked up the milk. I went away for any years though. I understand a lot, but always am a humble student. Uh -huh, I'm sure. Read the Cabellion for mental power and art of seduction. Oh god, of course. Oh no. Well, all Robert Greene's books. Then read all Napoleon Hill books and all of Jim Ron and Dale Carnegie books. I'm not a great person at all, but I can read and retain knowledge and change faster than anyone I know. Ah, oh, you should work in theater then. Love all the costume changes. I was born April 10th, 1986, when Halley's Comet came closest to Earth ever in history. My life has been extraordinary. Beyond belief. Because I make up half of it to make myself seem like a better person. I live it, but I need help. I really do. It's, ah, uh, it's lonely down here when everyone else is shut off and, ah, uh, Ignorant. Are you sure they're shut off or they just hate dealing with you? See, there's a big difference in that and it's got to do with you! I want more of what was taught here. I really like the Black Swan guy too. You both have equal good stuff and says more than anything. I hold this up with the highest of knowledge. You must learn to survive in the blah blah blah. Yeah, we're done here. Nine, if you give me a bad vibe, I'm going to ban you immediately. Someone as great as me shouldn't have to be around lower level thinkers such as yourselves when I'm a higher level thinker. We get any frauds up out of here immediately. Man, I'd love to join this sort of Discord chat just to see this, just to witness this. All these intellects pretty much fighting like teenage girls in high school for the, the to be on top. This is a picture of an asteroid crater in Arizona. Look how close it came to hitting the visitor center. Wow, no way, uh, so close. I'm glad people on the internet are smart enough not to actually take this series up. I'd say that the crater was actually there before the tourist center, Sean. In fact, the tourist center was probably built for people visiting that crater. 
John Oliver isn't funny. He just curses and yells with a British accent. I see your perspective, but it's kind of cathartic to hear some dude go, What the frick? at an awful systemic issue on television. Oh, I don't watch TV for current events. I get actual real information. Oh yeah, from where? Reddit. Man comes from the apes. Darwin's theory also states that man survives due to being the strongest. Scientifically, both of these are false. Man does not come from the apes, nor is an animal, as it is actually not known where mankind comes from. Nor did we survive as the strongest, because before us, there were giants, all of which documented at a prior 14 to 25 5.5 feet tall, genetically, scientifically, and officially proven. So what gives? What gives is you likely watch too many conspiracy documentaries from the History Channel. Nothing wrong with being offended by this. I grew up in an area where it seemed like every other word had four letters. I don't like it, and I will never be convinced that it's a good idea. I am currently a Tesco mobile customer, but will look elsewhere as a direct result of the ad. It's just a new class of people that are forming. The scum who teach their kids to swear and fight, who watch MMA and become armchair wannabes. People like us with dignity and class are a dying breed. And that is why, Stacy, you have to sleep with me, because I'm, I'm special. I have the special seed for society. The thing I'm learning most in this sub is how many supposedly obscure words I use regularly. I love Wordle mainly because it gives me what I consider to be solid proof that I'm smarter than all my friends. Okay, I went out to be fair. Wordle does in fact give you this kind of ego boost. As someone who did nail a word on their second try compared to my friends, I'm just, look, I'm just saying. Okay, I'm, I'm not one of these people, I swear, but <laughs> I'm pretty smart. Zero is not odd, even, or negative and positive. It is absolutely nothing. It's impossible to draw a perfect vacuum because there are still particles and atoms. However, numbers occupy a theoretical basis, i.e. you can owe money so you are in the negative or red. You are obviously a D student. You understand addition in the positive, but never grasp the full picture. And you think that's it, that they're gone now, that's it. That's all they wanted to say, just some stupid condescending words about the number zero. Nope, they're back to brag more. I corrected a typo. Did you see it? I just drank a 12 pack of beer and I'm smarter than this guy. I'm just imagining a, <laughs> a young Hermione from Harry Potter drinking a 12-pack of beer, typing this on her, on her laptop. It's just, yeah, perfect. 